Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends, and uh, let us have a nice discussion for today. And Muslims are welcome to share with us. If they have anything to say, I will open my Skype so they can call me immediately. Uh, our topic today is about medicine and Islam. There is tons of articles, videos, millions, speaking about the Prophet medicine, the Quran medicine. I mean, it's English. And I wonder why if the Islamic medicine is really good, why they are buying the machines of the Western and why they are using the tools of the Western and why they have the highest rate of death because of illness and diseases. You have, you do not need tools for this. I mean, you need just the Quran and the Hadith. All what you need, you see, you cannot say, uh, well, we are short of this. We are short of that. We, we are a, we are a third world country. Like, you know, a country like Saudi Arabia have trillions of dollars. They have a very high average of death. Uh, and this is the same goes for the poor ones. So the rich one, the poor one, all of them, they are suffering from the same issue. And the one who enjoy actually high, uh, uh, like let's say, a percentage of people who live longer, which means health is improved a lot more, is kuffar. The kuffar countries. So why the medicine of the prophet is not working? I'm going to open my Skype, hoping that we will get a Muslim, he will call us. All right? So maybe he can share with us some of the medicine of the prophet. Because simply I did not see the prophet have really anything to do with medicine. I, you know, what I know, there is a bunch of fairy tales, which is not even qualified to be stories for kids. So if there is any Muslim who would like to show us where we can find the medicine of the Prophet, you are welcome. You see, I, I wanted actually to play some videos, but, you know, if I play their videos, they will say uh, copyright and etc. Otherwise, we will enjoy more if we play the Muslim videos, so we can see if this is true or not. And you will notice right away that this is nothing but a scam. But how we can prove it is a scam? What is the proof of that? You know? Uh, if we go and read the article of Muslims about the medicine of the Prophet, we will find in the article there is nothing. The Prophet was amazing. The Prophet was etc. The Prophet blah, 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 blah. Where is the medicine? Where is the medicine of the Like as an example right now in front of me, this is an article written by a Muslim, his name Dr. Farouk. Okay. So this is Dr. Farouk. He made a long article about the Prophet medicine. Okay, what is the what is the what is the medicine of the Prophet medicine? Well, here we go. This is the whole article. I don't see it where. So today we are going to examine some of those statements from Muhammad about medicine. And I hope that will not turn into a comedy show. This is <clears throat> the Prophet of Allah. All of us, we knew and we heard the Prophet ordering people to drink camel urine. Here you will see that the Prophet, he ordered those who converted to Islam to drink milk and camel urine so their body will be healthy. Just a few months ago, let me find the news. United Nation, I don't know what they call it, the Department of United Nation, uh, warned from a drinking camel, even milk. Not urine. See? Even, even, even camel milk is very dangerous. Uh, I will try to find the news somewhere. Let us see. Um, well, there is many. I mean, you can find, like, you know... Uh, there is viruses found in the camel milk, which is would not be found anywhere. 
there is diseases can cause by camel milk and what about at least the milk is a milk what about the milk of uh, the the the, cam the urine of the camel so if the camel milk is not healthy so what about the camel piss Camel piss drinking is a very well-known practice in Islamic countries. And all organization of health warning that this is a very bad thing. And they keep posting warning for the Muslims to stop practicing drinking camel milk and camel urine. So, if the prophet was right, what happened? Why the camel urine turned to be very bad and the camel milk turned to be very bad? While the prophet was advising his, actually he's not even advising, he is ordering them as you see. The prophet, he order, and this is Sahih al-Bukhari, the Muslim cannot say this is weak, and you know, this is the game of weak and strong and uh, healthy and healthy hadith, sick hadith. So all organization in the world says camel milk and camel urine, both are dangerous. By the way, those are forbidden in the Torah. Even eating camel meat is forbidden. The same as eating the pig meat. And Muhammad, he copied from the Jews, forbidden the pig's meat, but he don't, there's no explanation why. He don't know. He just saw the Jews doing it, so he forbid it. So where is the camel? Where is the, where is the medicine? How come a prophet of God, he made such a mistake? Any Muslim can tell us? What do you think? I don't know what you mean, Mr. Fadi. Do we have any Muslim would, uh, you, you know, any Muslim would like to call us? And tell us about the amazing medicine of the Prophet. Who was a Muslim here? He drank at least once camel urine. My Skype is open. And I will be happy to take a call from you. Anyone? Yeah, by the way, I made a video for Mimi Hijab. Um, in case you did not watch it, you better go and watch it. The link is in Patreon, in my in my page in Patreon. So download it, share it everywhere. This way they cannot flag one video because they will try to flag it, you know. So if everybody download it and share it, then they cannot take it down. That's it. It's everywhere. So watch it. It's a very nice comedy. After we finish, you can go watch it. Don't forget to get the video and download it and share it in your own page. All right. <clears throat> Have you ever thought of subreddit delicate to your de de uh, debate or similar? I don't know what is that. I don't know what what subreddit mean. Subreddit. Let me ask Jibril. Guys, use words. I know. What is that? What subreddit mean? Is that something coming from the moon? Is it an alien stuff? And my debate is my debate. This is how I do it. There's no need to do anything else. I mean, isn't it? Isn't it? Aren't you enjoying my debate? Be honest. Have you ever seen somebody do what I do? Everybody, he opened his microphone. He got someone, you know. And even if they have a debate, 
Like, as an example, when they have a debate between Christian and a Muslim, regardless who is that in the debate. So the guy who is the Christian, he go, he print 1,000 question and answer from the internet. And the guy who is a Muslim, he do the same. And then they go in the stage and they start reading what they prepared for a month ago because they prepared the topic. They have a topic. They choose a topic a month or two months ago. What is the debate? And everyone go to the stage and speak five minutes. Now it's your turn. So he take the mic. He speak five minutes. He's reading what he he you know he uh, he printed from the internet. Nobody is debating anyone, right? Real debate is that you talk and I talk and corner me if you can. That is a debate. And don't tell me what the topic. That is a debate. A person who asks for a topic in advance because he's terrified. But if what if you ask him a question out, out of this topic and he don't have time to print all the print from the Internet, right? This is why they need time. They need the topic. It shows the topic. And brother, you cannot go out of the topic. No. Call me. You see, our topic today is about med medicine. I can change it, no problem. Hit me. <laughs> Call me. <laughs> so those debates, actually, they are not debates. Anyway, guys, don't change my topic, for God's sake. What's wrong with you? Respect the medicine of the prophet. The prophet, he come with a lot of medication. So the prophet, after he ordered people to drink camel urine, are there Shia hadith about drinking? Shia hadith is more horrible, my friend. Shia hadith is more horrible. I mean, this is nothing. What Shia hadith? Are you kidding me? The Shia, they have their own medicine. As an example, the Shia, they believe in a... <clears throat> they have their own medicine to the point uh, uh, plant, they have religion based on their taste this is kind of medicine so Allah he gave them extra as an example watermelon if she is a sweet she is Shia if she is not she is Sunni if you wear uh, a black shoes your private part will not work as a man but if you wear a yellow shoes your private part will be like point you know so if we want to go to the Shia <clears throat> we will die laughing from the Shia uh, medicine This guy is a Muslim, are you sure? Let us hope so. No, he's not. I, this is a person who is... This is a fake person. Any Muslim? Who is a Muslim when I... Call us and tell us about, confirm to us that really the prophet, he was a doctor. Dr. Muhammad. We should not call him a prophet alone. I mean, we shouldn't call him doc, Dr. Prophet Muhammad. Anyone? By the way, I was I was planning to work as a doctor, but they told me uh, guys don't send me stupid potato tomato. Those are kids. We bl will block them already. Don't you see it says you are a boy? Don't you read even the name of the guy? Don't send me kids. Guys, listen. When Dr. Muhammad, he speak, he don't speak from his own. He speak from Allah. Muhammad, he know nothing. Remember, Muhammad is an illiterate man. Anything he say, it is from Allah. So the one who is saying drink camel urine and drink uh, milk of the camel is Allah. Now, I want the Muslim to stop drinking or taking any medicine made by the kuffar. If this is true, I will give you another example about the medicine of the Prophet. Let me find the hadith for you in a second. A guy, he came to the Prophet. 
Let us read together. And this is Sahih al-Bukhari. <coughs> Sahih what? Al-Bukhari. Hmm. A man came to the Prophet and said, My brother has got loose motion. What loose motion? We have a diarrhea. That's all. Oh. Loose motion. Anyway, the prophet said, let him, you know, I, I'm trying to understand, by the way, uh, it says here, it's So it looked like his belly or his, this is what it says, his, 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 uh, his stomach is doing like what the women do or something like that. Like, you know, he, he's throwing something out or something like that. So maybe he is uh, throwing up, maybe he have a diarrhea, I'm not sure really. But as you see, this is the Muslim translation. The prophet said, let him drink honey. Okay. The guy, he went to his brother. He told him to drink honey. After a few days, he came back. He came to Muhammad and he said, the man again came and said, I made him drink honey, but that made him worse. The prophet said, this is the second time. The prophet said, Allah has told the truth and you, the, and your that your brother's stomach told a lie like what like what what like what 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 the stomach of the guy is lying hello hello uh, yes you? You are live on air. Go ahead. What do you like to say to us? Hello? Yes, I hear you. Go ahead. What do you like to say to say us, Mr. Omar? <clears throat> yes, yes. Sorry. So uh, you're asking, um, I can't be too loud, but you're asking about, uh, your question was basically, are there any Muslims who would like to come and respond to this? Correct? All right. Is go ahead. We are listening. Yeah, so essentially what the way I understood this from an Islamic perspective is that obviously um, this was prescribed at a time mm -hmm. when this was the available remedy, this was the available medication. Mm -hmm. Just like if at different times of the world, like people pursued the medication that was available in the areas that they have, which is why we see all sorts of different kind of medicines being used in okay. indigenous cultures, Chinese cultures and the like. But to say that this is something that should still be used today is not <laughs> something that is uh, so are prescribed. You saying, okay, are you saying that this is uh, was good at the time of the Prophet, but it's wrong now? What I'm saying is this was the available remedy at the time he prescribed it. Okay, that's what I'm saying. But as you see, a global like uh, there is a there is a, a many a, a huge organization warning from drinking camel urine and camel milk both. And they are saying they are full of diseases and cause a lot of harm to the body health, including yeah. viruses. So obviously, when Muhammad he claimed that he is teaching something, he is claiming yeah. that Allah told him, right? Yeah. So don't Allah knew. Yeah. Don't Allah knew that camel urine is harmful for the body of a human being. Well, don't that that depends because I've read some articles that say that there are potentially benefits in it as well. And my friend, those articles written by Muslims. Why does that matter, right? Those no, are no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You Muslims, you say things just to support. You see, because we are talking about science, not about me as a believer. I try to defend and fabricate stories. Here we go. This is World Organization, including the United Nations, warning Muslims from drinking camel urine and drinking even camel milk. There's a lot of viruses. They come only with such a milk or even, uh, uh, and, and the urine is an acid. So all of them agree that this is, uh, 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 you know, this is not a treatment. This is illness. This is madness. This will kill you. So when okay, you say okay, to me, it doesn't matter who is the one who wrote the article. No, it does matter. And the Muslims always they write article and they fabricate information. I never saw a Muslim article telling the truth. Okay, but here's here's the thing, right? Like with with science and medicine, like there's always it's always changing in terms of what we consider healthy and what we consider don't what we don't consider healthy. Like even for example. Um, milk, like these days, there's this movement that say, don't even drink milk for drinking milk is unhealthy for you, right? Like, so I think to say that, oh, just because science and doctors say this today means that it is objectively true. 
I think history would uh, yeah, counter remember, because it's friend, changed remember, all the time. Remember that the one who said that is the God who don't change. His knowledge is fixed. His knowledge, yes. okay. So when Allah, he says, drink camel urine, don't Allah knew the negative and the positive of whatever he said to drink? Absolutely, okay. absolutely. So if it was not good today, why it is good at that time? He should not say that, should they say, give us the right medicine. So changing the time would not to change the fact that he is giving us the wrong medicine. So if Allah is all wise and Allah is all knowing, he should give us a medicine fit for any time. Doesn't matter what, what it is. You agree? I know, but one of the beautiful things about the deen mm. uh, is that it's it's flexible. So at, at this time, the hadith is prescribed. This is a hadith. It's not part of the Quran. If yeah, there was a what flexible, the Quran, what flexible mean? I'm talking to you. I, I don't know how old are you, my, my friend uh, Omar. Oh, it doesn't matter how old I'm. I'm, I'm an adult. I'm okay, an adult. So let us say you say to me, I'm an adult. Adult means that you have a brain and you are mature to make decision. Correct? Absolutely. Okay. Yes. Was Allah mature when He said, the "Drink camel urine and milk"? Or he was not mature. Are you saying to me that Allah at that time was not was not a mature God, and now he became no, no, a mature I God? Think the term mature we can't even use in relation to God because mature implies that there was a change from immaturity to maturity. So well, I don't say that Allah is mature. Allah no, is all knowing. We can't say that because Allah never been mature. I can prove it to you in front of your eyes. This is a, this is a statement of a person who is not mature. Okay, my friend. Look, if he prescribed camel urine at the time, hmm. right? That is what what's wrong with that? Like it was what was available, and it, the hadith clearly says. Yeah, but until it's the poison. It's poison. I mean, it's, first of all, it's disgusting. Secondly, it's poison. It's an acid, and it's a pure acid, actually. Especially for is the that, Is chemotherapy not an acid? Is chemotherapy? My friend, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. That, you know, yeah. don't, don't go. We cannot. So, are you going? To, uh, are you saying to me now we can use the camel urine for cancer? No, I'm not saying that okay. at all. Like, so that is a, no, no. You see, you are mixing things up. You are mixing things up big, big time. We cannot, we cannot compare between this and that. So, if the camel urine work for any diseases and any, give me one disease, the camel urine can fix it. That is, that is, that's mad. So, all organization in the world, they say this is bad. This is wrong. Muslims dying everywhere because of this recipe Muhammad he gave, and then now they practice it, and they don't listen. So you, instead of saying Allah was wrong and the Prophet was making hummus, you are defending saying it was good for that time. But what was good in that time? Did, did that heal people at that time? According to this hadith, they did not say and drank their milk and urine until their bodies became healthy. Mm -hmm. So it, it obviously it had an effect. The hadith says it right there. How we know that they are drinking the milk became... and etc. Okay, let me ask you, did Muhammad die and he was sick? Absolutely, yes. Okay. So Muhammad, the one who died and he himself, he was sick. Why Allah did not give him the right medicine, which is camel urine and camel milk? Why are you assuming that in Islam, every single sickness has to be healed with camel urine? Okay, let me ask you. Muhammad, he said, I'm not assuming, I'm going to show you what your prophet said. Sure. The prophet said that if you eat seven ajwa, you, yes. know, you know what ajwa means, right? Dates, yes. Okay. So if you eat seven ajwa, no poison can kill you and no black magic can affect you. Yeah. Okay. Is that a true or this is fiction? If that hadith is considered sahih and it's true, then it's true. It is sahih hadith. This is sahih Bukhari. But, so it is yes, true. Okay. okay. So do you agree that if you eat seven ajwa, no poison can affect you? I agree with that. If, if that's what the hadith says, then yeah, I agree. Have you ever that. heard of somebody try that? I, I tried it. I've tried eating seven dates. You tried seven dates, but did you try to drink poison after that? No, I haven't. Why not? Why would I do that? Because in Islam, you can't inflict harm upon yourself. No, you're not. You just, you see, you just say it. If you drink poison, you are harming yourself. So you are saying that the prophet, obviously, he is not right because that would do harm. So if 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 you if you are saying I will not do it because that will make harm on me, that's mean Muhammad is lying to you. No, okay, you have to understand, Akhi, in, in the Sharia, mm. there's something called it's about weighing the pros, the, the pros and the cons. So some things can be bad for you, mm. but they're good might outweigh the bad. Mm. So like medicine, you know, a lot of medicine tastes bad and it, it might like it might even even chemotherapy, like it takes away your hair and stuff and it, it mm. weakens your bones, mm. but it has a benefit in the end. Okay. So Allah says that he has not sent down a sickness okay. except without cure. All right, my friend, 
the prophet he used to eat seven ajwa every day in the morning and this is why he's advising the muslim to do so correct i don't know if he ate it every single day so why he is saying it? some some days he would wake up and there were no food so he would just he would just fast so he didn't eat it every single oh, day oh poor guy okay so uh, so he did not always eat seven ajwa no but the ajwa is everywhere there this is the normal I'm, I'm telling you what that what based off my knowledge what the hadith says okay. but if i may ask so you let me ask brother, you then did muhammad okay. die by poison i i don't know i don't know exactly how he died what do you mean you don't i've heard know? different things what, what, heard do you, different what do you mean you don't know here we go i, I don't know how he died this is, the hadith in Sahih -Bukhari. This is a sahih hadith it says that the prophet he died by the poison which yes. he ate at khaybar so the prophet he says to you if you eat seven ajwa is uh, poison will not affect you so which mean ajwa is a solution for poison do you agree ajwa is a protection not a solution for poison it's a protection from poison protection so you are saying that muhammad he made a mistake he did not eat seven ajwa before he ate the poison very possibly yes that mm -hmm. day that he got it very okay. possibly he didn't so eat the that, ajwa so. so the one who told him about the ajwa can stop poison is allah do you agree absolutely okay why Allah did not tell him another medicine can delete? I mean, there is there is a lot of medicine today. There's people they they get bite by snakes every day, but they don't die as before. Like and unless you are far away from hospital, it's too late. So Allah, who come with the idea of ajwa, seven ajwa, can't He give him another medicine to say, okay, seven ajwa to stop the poison to inf to have influence on you or to kill you before you eat the poison? Can't he give him a medicine says this is the solution don't worry be happy well he what he told him was that you know and what the hadith says is that if you eat the ajwa mm. then inshallah you will be protected from those two things you will be protected mm. so that's what allah says but so do you think let me, let prophet, me be honest so with do you, you think, so, do, so do you think the prophet uh, allah he did not give him ajwa so he will die because you are saying to me the prophet sometime he don't eat and uh, he is hungry and yeah. uh, that uh, he, he, there's no guarantee he ate ajwa every day. So you are saying to me that Allah he caused his death by poison by making him out of ajwa. Well, in Islam, we believe that actually the people who are tried with the worst hardships hmm. are the prophets, and then the people after them, and the people after them. So I'm even if you, my friend, uh, Omar, focus with me. You I'm say, focusing with you. You're no, saying, no. why would Allah do that, right? Yeah. You're asking no, why Allah. Allah okay, so uh, are you saying to me Allah is the one who killed Muhammad by poison? No, what I'm saying is Allah is the one who decrees and he is control. He's in control of all evil and what is good. And he right. says that he will very Thank clearly you. So test Allah decrees. evil and good. Okay, so Allah decrees the death of Muhammad by poison. Uh, is that your final answer? Well, you have you have to prove to me that we, we, for certain that he died out of poison. So are you, are you accusing your prophet to be a liar? No, no, I'm not saying that. But I'm well, just your prophet you. saying so. Your prophet, this is a says in his element which he died. He used to say, "Oh Aisha, I still feel the pain caused by the food I ate at Khaybar, and at yeah. this time I feel as my orta being cut off. So from the poison. So if Muhammad is inspired by Allah, and even if he speaks a drink camel urine, it's from Allah. Is it? This yes. is from Allah. Yes. Okay. Everything that he says is from Allah. All right. So he is saying that he died by poison. So why you are saying to me, there's no proof he died from poison? No, no, I didn't say there's no proof. I said prove it to me that he died from poison. I, I, I don't have, you I don't did. have every you single just, hadith. You just, no, you just did prove it to me. You said to me that this is from Allah. So are you saying Allah is lying? Allah saying. Why are you putting words in my mouth? No, no, no. Okay. I'm not saying that at all. But you are saying to me, prove it. Exactly. I'm just okay. telling you, show me where you know why you're so certain that he died from poison. And I told you who the prophet said, and I asked you when the prophet say, is it Allah saying? You say yes. Okay. Yes. The prophet and what's your saying, reference? Can you show me the reference so I can look it up? Yeah, this is Sahih al Bukhari, hadith number 4428. Hadith Bukhari 4428. Hmm. But look, I don't. I know, I know you make a lot of videos and, and you attack Islam and, and you attack our Prophet. Mm. Why don't we talk about the really crucial thing here? And what okay, separates don't Islam the, and Christianity? Don't change, see, don't change the topic, please. Why? Why? Because really, the the biggest topic, no, the biggest. Because here the we, we are, the no, we are exp the biggest topic is a scam. There's people who millions of people believe in a scam, and either is true or this is a scam. So here we go. This is the link I'm sending to you to save your time from looking. Did you not? Did you not just say? Did I, you not just say that you don't mind people changing the topic? I don't mind, but we started the conversation, me and you. So why we don't finish it?
And then you can we can go to the front thing, no problem. I, I think I explained what I needed to explain no, here. You did not. You did not. You said to me, show me the reference, and here we go. I'm showing you the reference. Is, are, okay. Are we finished? No. No. So, do you accept this that Muhammad he was lying and he is saying that he's no, dying by poison? Okay. Lying. So you have to accept that Muhammad died by poison. And if you say to me, let me see, let me see, let me see what the hadith says. I'm looking it up. No, no, I send you the link. Just check, uh, check the link you have it there. Yeah, so yeah. I'm gonna open it up. Here we go. What do you think? And at this time, I feel as if my uh, orta is being cut from that poison mm. in his arm in which he died. Alayhi salam in his honor in which he died, he used to say. Yeah, okay. Okay, so this is true, right? Yeah, I mean, the hadith says the Prophet alayhi salam right. in his honor so, in which he yeah. died used to say. Let's analyze the information together. You say that the yeah. Prophet, he not always he can eat seven ajwa because sometimes he is hangry. Okay. Yeah, and sometimes he no food. Oh, there's no okay. food. Yeah. Who is the one who stopped the supply from ajwa or ajwa to Muhammad? Allah. 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 So that you are saying that Allah. He joined the conspiracy of those evil people and killed his prophet because the Jewish women is the one who put the poison for the prophet. But Allah, he planned for it. Look what happened. Uh, Let me ask you the same. Can I not ask on, you the hold same on, question? Hold on, hold on. No, no, you cannot ask me the same question because we need to finish it first and you can ask me the same question. No problem. And here, what we see that you are saying by your logic, not my logic. Allah, he decided to stop Muhammad from eating ajwa because if he eat ajwa, then the poison will not work. And then Allah after he make him unable to find ajwa to eat, he sent the Jewish women, she put poison in his food. And then the prophet, he ate from the food which have poison, and yeah. now Muhammad dying slowly with very horrible pain. Sure, so yeah, yeah. Let's, one, I mean, I, again, I can't confirm all these details, but okay. let's assume that what you're saying. So you agree, you agree now that Allah is the one who killed the prophet in a very evil way. Allah is the one who kills, he causes everything to die. Okay. So certainly he's the one who okay. caused the prophet. Thank you. Alayhi. But isn't yeah. it in the Quran, it says that if the prophet is lying, fabricating Quran, I will cut his artery? Yes, absolutely. Okay. So what, 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 of, what of is cut off in the hadith, the artery of the prophet? And this is exactly what the Quran is saying. If Muhammad is lying, Certainly, chapter 69, verse number 45 and 46 and 48. If he yeah. is lying, if he is fabricating, if our messenger is inventing any saying in our name, what we should do? We should certainly size him by his right hand and we should yeah. certainly cut off his artery. Okay, but now what we, what we got, you are the one who agreed that the prophet was killed by a conspiracy made by Allah, decrees of Allah. He it's made not a, it's not a conspiracy, it's the ajwa. decree of yeah. What? It's, it's not a conspiracy, it's the decree of Allah, just like all of us no will problem. die. No problem, you see, no, the, the decree of Allah is conspiracy here because Muhammad isn't aware what's happening, correct? So, so if I don't know when I'm going to die, does that mean Allah is conspiring against me? My friend, no, he is causing his death by poison. This is not about normal death. He's causing, sure. He is shortening his life, not in a normal death. So Allah he is a partner, partner with the Jew. He partnered with the Jew to kill Muhammad. And the, These plan, are some the plan is very the following. The, 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 saying, the plan yeah. is the following. Allah will cut the supply of Ajwa from the break, breakfast of the Prophet. So he will wake up in the morning. He will not find Ajwa. He will not be able to eat Ajwa. And then the Jewish woman, she bring the food. And Muhammad eat the, the food. And then Muhammad, he die by poison. And that will confirm that Muhammad is a fraud. Because the Quran says that if Muhammad is inventing anything in our name, Certainly, we should cut off his artery, and this is exactly how Muhammad died. The artery. Hmm. Do you know? Do you know what that what that ayah means? Read it for me. Yeah, I know. I just read it for you. Read it in Arabic. I don't know Arabic. Yes, you do know Arabic. I speak Pakistani, Urdu. No, I'm pretty sure you speak Arabic. Do you not speak Arabic? Okay, it says Thumma. Just hold on. Sometimes the breed squeeze me. Uh, he activate the Arabic. Sometimes he don't. Thumma laqata'na minhu al-watinu. And what does that mean? Go ahead. Okay, hmm. that is uh, what's the verse number again? Chapter sixty-nine, verse number forty-six. Forty-six. Okay. Allahu Akbar. Shaitan al-Rajim. 
then we would cut from him uh, the orator. Then, yeah, then we would cut from him the orator. Mm. And there's nothing that one of you could prevent us from him. Mm. Um, and if he made up any false statements, and if Muhammad السلام, had made up about us false sayings, mm. uh, we should have seized him by the right hand. Mm. Mm. Right, we would have seized him by the right hand. Mm. Show me where that happens. I just showed, Prove you, to me that I just showed you in the hadith. No, no, show me where Allah seizes him by the right hand. Oh, he did not see him from the right hand? That's what the, that's what the Quran oh, says. Let me explain you, to you what seizes him by your hand. Muhammad, he eat by the right hands, don't he? Isn't it Muhammad? He, he says, you have to eat by the right hands. Otherwise, the shaitan will eat with you if you eat with the left hand. So Allah sized him. He killed him by his right hands. He made him eat. He listen, listen. He made him eat by his right hand the poison which will cause his death. So Allah sized him by his own right hand, not the hand of Allah. The hand of Muhammad is the reason for Muhammad to die. Muhammad always eat by the right hand, and I show you tons of hadith about Muhammad saying that. So that's Allah, true. No, no, there's no doubt about that. Okay. So Muhammad he sized himself by the right hand, and he cut. He caused that because of that. He cut himself his artery, and he died. As a fraud. What the what the ayah says, and the word is la minhu bil yamin. Surely we would yeah, have we seized. We will take our right from him by his right hand. We will take it from him. What he sure, took from did us. Allah, okay. did Allah, so Allah, Allah he took from him his life. Hmm? Did Allah come down and grab him by the right hand? Is that what you're My telling friend, me? My friend, this is your this is your understanding of a grabbing, right? What is and it? Mrs. What, what, it says, what it says a grabbing? You speak Arabic. I speak Arabic. Show me the word the grabbing, and I will grab you from anywhere you want. La akhadna. Surely we La have seized. This means we took, we take, we take. Correct. Seized. One okay. translation. No, seized. no, no. You see, this is your translation. What the akhadna? The word akhada in Arabic means we take. Do you agree? Take, seize. Sure. No. Okay. So we take from him by the right hand. So we take from him what? His life. La akhadna minhu bil yamin. We would have seized him by the right hand. Sure. But, okay. So that's it. So Allah. He made Muhammad eat the poison by his right hand, and this is how he cut off his artery. And the hadith confirming that Muhammad he died by the poison which ate in Khaybar. And you are the one who agree that this is the decree of Allah, and Allah caused Muhammad death by the poison. Okay, but you would have to prove that he, for Allah to do this, he would have had he would have had to lie about it. My friend, and Allah my friend, says okay. very clearly. If you make a prophecy, Najim, my friend, Allah. can you stop? Can you stop cutting me off? Like I'm not cutting you off. So you're getting upset now. Take it easy. Take I'm not. I'm not getting upset. Take, I'm not getting upset. Take I just, some camera, and we'll cool you down. Listen, take it easy. <laughs> I'm not. I'm really not upset. Don't I'm be quite upset. It's okay. It's okay. And I, sometimes I get upset too. Like you know, sometimes I sit in a high, like I go in the, in the top of the ladder and I sit up. You know, but this is not the question now. You are the I'm one who agreed. Upset. You are the one who agreed that Muhammad died by poison, and this is obviously the decree of Allah. Did you agree on that or not? Absolutely. Okay. I'm what as I'm long saying is the degree of Allah. That means Allah is the one, the real reason for Muhammad's death. Do you agree in that or not? Allah is the one who causes death. That's Thank what you. I would say. So it is not the Jewish women, correct? They are a means by which Allah Thank causes. Thank you. So Allah he used a Jewish women to kill Muhammad. The question why? Why, for example, I could ask that question about anything. Why does Allah even cause death to anyone? No, the answer is there because Muhammad, he made a challenge in the Quran. He says that Allah told him, if Muhammad is lying, he will cut him, he will cut his life in a certain way. And he also says in the Quran, وَمَا يَنْتِكُ عَنْ مِلْهَوَى وَمَا ضَلَّ صَاحِبُكُمْ وَمَا غَوَى Thank like you. Your companion Thank you. has not transgressed or known. Thank, no Thank you. So, but this is a verse in the Quran. So maybe what happened later, Muhammad start adding things. So Allah punish him. What do you think? What I think is that if you're saying that God caused it, caused the degree, the the, the decree of Muhammad alayhi salam to die, mm. then I could ask you the same question. Don't you say that the father sent his only son to die mm. for the sins of mankind? Yeah, but you see here, Jesus, he knew what he's coming for. And Jesus, he and Muhammad he, knew no, no. he was gonna no, die. No, he Jesus, no, die. Muhammad did not know. This is why he is yes, making he the was. challenge. Yes, no, he, he don't know. No, he don't know. Here we go. Even the Quran. I can prove it to you. Okay, prove it to me. Go ahead. There is a hadith, and I have to look this up, and I can give it to you. Okay. But there's a there's a hadith where it says Al Malik al Maut. They came to him, mm. and they asked him. It's like you you have a choice. You can either stay or you could go and return to Allah. Mm. And he used to say Bal Rafiq al Ala. No, but I want the companionship of the Most High. What does that mean? So he knew that he was going to come. What he knew mean? that he was going to die. 
Well, everybody will die. No, no, but he knew, and even in the Hajj, my like friend, he, made, he, he knew. Made a I know I will die too, and you know you will die too, and we are dead people already. What's wrong with you? We are asking how he will die. Do Muhammad knew that Allah will cut his artery? The, the, the answer, no, because this is was this is was a artery. significant a, a significant thing. Your pro, your God, he promised. Suppose your God is talking, saying if he do such a thing, if he lie, which means if this is happened, that Muhammad was a liar. So Allah should not let that happen unless. Are you saying to me Allah is a fool? No, I'm okay. certainly not. So if Allah says, okay, if a Christian prince is lying, I will make him shish kebab. And then Christian prince became shish kebab. Isn't it clear that Allah, he made me shish kebab because I'm lying? Okay, you're, you're, taking, you're taking your interpretation and trying to find an interpretation. Not my interpretation. Give me yours, my friend. Here yes. we go. It's in front of you. How he died by his artery. You told me. That the the mm -hmm. Yes. And here it says, I, I feel as if my order has been cut from that poison, mm. from that poison. Mm. But you have to prove to me that this is Allah. This description is exactly. Mm. So you are saying to Allah, Allah, your promise is false and it's not coming true because this is exactly what you said will happen to Muhammad if he lie and he invent in our name. So you are saying to Allah, give me more proofs. Allah, he gave yeah. you the proof. He says, if he mm. do that, we will do this. What I'm saying is prove to me that Muhammad alayhi salam lied. Ah, prove to me that Muhammad alayhi salam lied. Okay, that's very easy. Let us see this. When you're a prophet, he says that women, she have a sperm and her sperm is coming from her ribs. Is that a prophet of God or ribs prophet? Come from which ayah are you talking about? Are you talking about chapter 87? No. Which ayah are you talking about? 86. 86 verses 4 to 7, correct? Yeah. Al yamdur, al insan. Kharaja min ma'in, ma'in dafik. Yakhruj min bayni sulbi wa tara'ib. That verse? What verse are you referring to? Verse number 7, you just read it. Yes. Okay, what does it say? Read me your translation. My friend, don't tell me my translation. I'm no translator. It's you Muslims. This is your book. Tell me sure. what it says. Okay. Go ahead. 87. Hmm. I'll look it up just so I have... Sorry, 86. Here it is. Bismillah. Surah Tariq. Billahi min shaitan al-rajim. Khaliyamdur al-insan. Let me just go to the verse. Sorry. Okay. Allah says about the person خُلِقَ مِنْ مَاءٍ دَافِكْ فَلْيَنْظُرِ الْإِنسَانُ مِمَّا خُلِقْ خُلِقَ مِنْ مَاءٍ دَافِكْ يَخْرُجُ مِنْ بَيْنِ السُّلْبِ وَالطَّرَائِبِ mm. So let man observe from what he was created. He was created from a fluid ejected, mm. emerging from between the backbone and the ribs. I don't see what's wrong with this. Okay, what is the, what is the ejaculation coming from between the backbone and the ribs according to your knowledge? Okay. So the word here, some people try to say that this is not the word of Allah because the Quran apparently says that semen comes from between the backbone and the ribs, mm. right? And I've heard this argument. That is not what the Quran says. What the Quran, the Quran says? Mm. The Quran says, mm. in dafiq, mm. from a fluid ejected. Okay. And the word mani is present in the Quran, mm. right? It's present in Surah Al-Insan. Mm. Um, so that's not the word here. So Allah says from a fluid ejected. Mm. I've studied this in quite detail. Mm. And if you actually look at where, what, what sperm is made out of from, from, sperm is made out of fluid. Mm. And this fluid, where does the fluid come from? Do you know? No, I don't know. Tell me. It comes from the pelvis. From where? The pelvis, the seminal vesicle. What it is comes that? from the seminal vesicle, where, which where is, is that the pelvis. Located? Where is that located? The pelvis is exactly between the backbone of the ribs. Look it up. Mm. Google it right now, mm. pelvis. So the backbone is where the sperm of the man is coming from. The fluid in which sperm is made out of comes emerges from between the backbone and the ribs. Yes. The, the sperm coming from the from a bone. I didn't say the sperm. I said the fluid mm. that is made. The sperm is made out of. Okay. Let me ask you: Is the human being created from the fluid or from the sperm? Both. The the sperm is fluid. False. False. How how is that false? When we we talk about what is the one what what we call the thing which fertilizes the egg that thing what we call it. To be honest, I'm not a doctor. It's, it's a sperm. It's uh, sperm. You know, I don't, I'm not a doctor too. I have uh, the only license I have is driver license. So 
That thing, does it come from the bone? That thing, the one fertilized the egg, does it come from the bone? Originally, all of that comes from the sun, or at least a significant portion of that comes from the sun of Asko, which is in the province. I'm asking you a very specific question. Either you say it is from the bone or not. Is it come from the bone? Yes, it says the backbone. The backbone is the last bone in the spine, correct? I'm talking about, I, I, no, no, I'm not, I didn't say it comes from the backbone. I said, from between my, my friend, the backbone no and problem, the ribs. No problem. Okay, ah, so you are saying, uh, my friend, uh, uh, you understand the Quran according to who? I understand the Quran according to the correct the correct understanding, I hope, right? And where we can and of find course, I'm not human being, I can make is mistakes. That like, is, that, uh, is that a scholar? Is that a prophet? Is that who? Who do I follow, are you saying? Hmm. Yeah, no, no, I'm saying. According to who you are understanding this? I'm reading the Quran and it's... So you are, this is your own understanding, correct? No, no, this is, this is the Arabic language and this is what the Quran says. Well, I speak Arabic that's... too, I don't see what you are saying. I see the Quran saying that this has come from between this and that. The backbone here represents the man and the ribs is the ribs of the women. That's your interpretation again. Okay, let us see. What if we go and see the interpretation of the Prophet? Do you agree with the Prophet or he, he is obviously do not? If you can show me an authentic narration of the Prophet, no. then yes, I yes, agree. We have to show him authentic. Uh, uh, or, uh, okay, let us show you uh, authentic. Uh, all right, let us see. I have one as Da'if, not authentic, but uh, maybe it works. Let us see. So why are you showing it to me if it's Da'if? Uh, because this is what we have for now. <laughs> What we can okay. do. Yeah. Yeah. All right. By the way, do you know who I am? No, I do not know who you are. I don't care. I'm the I'm the person who you made a an hour and forty minute response to about their TED talk. Take about uh, I'm I'm Abdul Fatah, Omar Abdul Fatah, the TED talk that I gave two years ago. You made an hour and 40 minute response to that. I don't remember. Anyway, go ahead. Re read for us this hadith in the screen, my friend. Where is it? It's in the screen. Oh, on the YouTube? The YouTube? Yeah. Let me see where that is. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> I, I don't I press play I don't see the I don't see the screen refresh refresh the page refresh it just uh, be sure please to, to mute YouTube so we don't have double voice So uh, the one about the uh, Um Sulaim. Hmm. Yeah, Um Sulaim asked the Messenger of Allah alayhi salam hmm. about a woman who sees in her dream something like that which a man sees. The Messenger of Allah says, hmm. alayhi salam, if he sees that and has a discharge, then let her perform a bath. Hmm. Um Salama said, Oh Messenger of Allah alayhi salam, does that really happen? He said, yes, the water of the man is thick and white and the water of the woman is thin and yellow. Mm -hmm. Whichever of them comes first or predominates, the child will, will resemble that okay. parent. Okay. Now, so the word ma, you said to me, what ma is not a semen. This is what you said to me, ma. But your prophet is saying clearly that this is what he believed is a creating the baby. Do you agree? He's the ma. He called it ma, correct? But what, the Quran, does the Quran not say something different? I don't know. You tell me. Does the Quran say it's not ma? Does the Quran say ma or no? The Quran talks about the embryonic development and it uses a different word than ma. We will go there, but um, so the Quran is not using ma. So what what we saw in chapter eighty six, verse number seven and verse number six doesn't say ma in dafiq. It says eight in eighty six okay. verse seven. It does my say friend, ma. my friend, does it say in the Quran? Let us go back a little bit. Does it say don't the man know he is created from what? Does it say that or I'm making things up? It says, Thank you. So, so he's created from 
gushing, gushing fluid. Is that correct? Gushing, strong fluid. A fluid ejected. That's what. That's Thank the you. Ejected had. from where? From the fluid ejected, and then Allah says, "Yakhruj min bayni sulbi wa taraid." No question. No, no problem, my friend. So, ejected from where to where? To be honest, I don't know. But okay. here it says, "You're a prophet." Here it says, my, from friend, my, my friend, my friend, your prophet, explain it. Here we go. The hadith says. A woman, she came to the prophet, she saw a dream. Obviously, she was playing with her, uh, you know, stuff. And she saw... How do you know that? How do you know that? Well, it says she, she had masturbation. Does it say she was masturbated? Is that what it says? Yes, yes. Show me that. Well, it says here, a Muslim asked Allah Messenger about a woman who sees in her dream something like that a man sees. And the okay, man said, I'm listen carefully. And the man said, and Allah, a prophet said, if she sees that he, she has... A discharge, then let her perform a bath. Um Muslim said, Oh Messenger of Allah, does that really happen? He said, Yes, the water of the man is thick and white. What is the water of the man thick and white? He's talking about this is the ejac ejaculation of the man. Yes. Okay. And the water of the woman is a thin and yellow, correct? Okay, my friend, okay. You, you made a claim that she was playing, she was masturbating. Well, Prove obviously, that okay, how woman she just discharged, have orgasm? How would a woman she would have orgasm? Does the hadith not talk about a dream? It's a dream, is my it friend, not? My friend, okay, so she is, or, she, does it doesn't mean she did not have orgasm yet? Or she have orgasm? Yes. In the dream, yes. Okay, so she is playing with herself in the dream. She is sleeping, touching herself. Hello? Oh. Okay, let's be honest, let's be honest, let's be honest. As a man, <laughs> you know... You know My that friend, you this is not that. This is not the issue. You can play with it as you wish. No, she have orgasm. Yes or no? Why should I talk to you if you're like this? No, no, See, I'm not, because you are trying to change the topic. Did she have no, orgasm? No, no. Did she have orgasm? Yes or no? You made a claim. Yes. You made a claim that the she was masturbating. The claim is so clear. How the women she would have orgasm? Do you have orgasm without doing anything? Absolutely, in a dream. Yes. How is that? Are you serious? I don't no, know. I'm serious. Yeah. How how that will happen? You have orgasm how without people? so how how you uh, uh, listen? You have orgasm just by like, just uh, seeing something in the so if you are watching uh, uh, something in the front of you, you have orgasm without anything happen to your private part. Akhi, this is not talking about being awake. This is talking <laughs> about a dream. How many people have had a, a wet dream without masturbating? My friend, my friend, my friend, my friend. So she say it in the dream or not in the dream? Still, she have orgasm. Do you agree or not? She had an orgasm, yes. Okay. Now, or, or orgasm, was the, was the, orgasm the prophet saying, the orgasm which come from the women is the one who make the baby look like the women. Did he say that or not? Okay, to be honest with you, I don't even want to talk about Daif Hadith with you. Like, why are we talking so about... So, what uh, we will do now, if, if it's Daif, what we would do? Well, we don't base, we don't base uh, why, Sharia. Okay, why do Muslims have Daif Hadith? Why? Because the hadith are, are the product of men, okay. and men can make mistakes. So you are saying the the, the, the the book, Islamic books, the knowledge about Islam is full of stories, false stories. I'm not saying it's full of false stories. I'm saying are there potentially fabricated so are hadith? you saying yes. to me you will not believe in this unless it is Sahih hadith? Basically, yeah. We don't derive All right. this Sharia is a sahih, ruling and unless this is, Okay, hadith. this is a Sahih hadith. This is a Sahih hadith? Yes. Okay, can you send me the link for this one, please? Here we go. Open it. Okay. Dar es Salaam. Okay. This is in, um, hmm. what book is this in? Right. Okay. What is know. it? I don't oh. know. You Muslims have tons of books. I don't know how to read. I'm looking in Maja. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's greater than Sahih by Dar es Salaam. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So now you said you believe in it, right? 
Yeah, okay. yeah, I do believe in so it. So now we believe in it. Thank you. A second ago, you said you believe in it. How how this has changed so fast? No, no, no. You said it was a daif hadith. So I said any. I don't, don't want to argue about that. You claim to be a Muslim who posts videos in YouTube. Don't you know that daif hadith is accepted? Accepted for certain things. I also know that you cannot. Uh, so it's not accepted for orgasm stuff. No, no, Achi, you're trying to make a claim. You're trying to talk about religion. <laughs> okay, let's talk about time. So now, let us get the conclusion. Your prophet, he claimed that if the women have orgasm first in her water, the women she can see in her private part, as you see, this is not something inside the womb. No, this is something discharged coming out. Now, who in the world want to believe walk. that women, she have this charge and that this charge is the reason for the baby to resemble the parent, which is the women. Whichever of them come f comes first or predominates comes first. Know, it says that. comes first. He described, you, he described yeah. the water. He described the water of the man. You, you are the one who agree. Remember, I said to you yeah. the, 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 uh, the prophet said that the water of the man is white and thick and the water yes. of the women is yellow and thin. And I said to you, is that the sperm? You said yes. So, yeah, and here it's referring to the sperm. Okay, I'm assuming. So do, we want to, do we even women have a sperm? And the water of a woman is thin and yellow. Yes. Do the women have a sperm? I don't know if sperm would be the right word to call it. Again, you're not speaking to a we doctor. You're just the one who said, no, your prophet decide that this is a sperm. He says that there's water ejaculate from the women and water ejaculate from the man. And that's what make the baby. I said man and ethic. My friend, yes, it's, it's ejaculation. When a, when a man have ejaculation, it is it, it is a strong water, and your prophet saying the women too. Here we go. He's saying he's the expert. And by the way, women she have a thin yellow, uh, no, uh, not, yeah, sexual liquid. That means she have. Not, this, not, that means yeah. the women she have STD. This is why it is yellow. Women should not have yellow ejaculation. Otherwise, she is infected with sexual disease. Which means all the women Muhammad he stepped with, they have sexual disease. Do you want to get to the main point here? You're talking. Let's talk about God. Let's the main point the main point is: Did Muhammad lie when he says that if the women she have ejaculation first, the baby will look like her, and this is the sperm of the women? Did he lie or he told the truth? When he was speaking here again, mm -hmm. if this is what the hadith says, and scholars say that this is a sahih hadith, mm -hmm. then I take it as truth. Okay, but is it? This is totally against what all scientists in the world they say. That women eject women they can get to uh, carry a child without even have uh, uh, even jack actually today is they can put even the sperm inside her uh, fertilize the egg without even inside her they take the egg out they fertilize it what what does have to do with the, with the with the look the look of the baby if he will be male or female is about you know uh, 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 the, the the male sperm decide who is the one or what he will be is it a male or female so the first thing will happen the DNA which is carried or the fertilizing of this, the, 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 the sperm fertilizing the, the egg, decide what the gender with the baby for the baby. It's not, doesn't well, matter who comes first. So, so Muhammad well, is lying. Secondly, women don't This is not talking about gender. No, no, no. This is not talking about gender. This is no, talking about. No, this is talking Tashmi. about gender. Okay, here we go. Should, uh, should, should I show you that about gender? This is, what does the hadith say? It says the child will uh, resemble friend, that. Shall I show you this is about the gender? Do you want me to show you a proof that this is about the gender? Show me, show me proof that this is about gender. You attack hadith in the Quran like like the Bible that we have today is perfectly intact, but it certainly is not, and you know that it's not. My friend, let us see. Now, if let I show see. you, now, if see. I show you, if I show you that this is what your prophet said, this is about gender. What you will do? I have to analyze all the hadith and seek a, the proper understanding. That's what I would do. I'm not here. I'm a seeker of truth. That's all that I am, and I submit my will to the one Creator. That is what a Muslim is. Hmm. This is what a Muslim is. Okay, here we go. This is the hadith in the front of us, and this is the Muslim translation. A Jewish man, he came to the Prophet and he asked him how the child resembled his parents. The Prophet, he says, uh, and if the man discharged, proceed the women, 
then the child will resemble the father. But in Arabic, it says, read carefully. This is a Muslim translation. You speak Arabic, so you have no excuse. It says, وَإِذَا سَبَقَ مَاءُ الرَّجُلْ مَاءُ الْمَرْأَ نَزَعَ الْوَلَدْ وَإِذَا سَبَقَ مَاءُ الْمَرْأَ نَزَعَتْ What does that mean? Nazat. Uh, what does that mean? Then the child resembles the mother. Hmm. I'm reading the translation that you have on the screen. Yeah, well, I read read the Arabic. Resemble the how 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 a child will resemble the mother? Like what? He will have a breast like her. He will have a, a private part like her. He no, but the mother. He will be a female. No. How how do you how do you know that's your interpretation? Show me. Okay, give me your interpretation. Give me, give me the Arabic. I don't. Okay, I don't my see the friend, Arabic. give me, give me your interpretation, please. Can you give okay, me? Okay, well, I don't see the Arabic. I don't see the Arabic. I have okay, to look here we go. Let me. Here we go. This is the Arabic. Did you send it to me, or is it on the screen? Oh no, here we go. I will send it to you. No problem. Give me a second. ماء المرأة نزع وإذا سبق ماء المرأة نزعت. So the word here is نزع. Okay, let us make it simple. So if this is was, if your prophet saying that the baby will be a boy if the man have orgasm first, and if the if the women have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl. Is that what? That's your interpretation again. That's your interpretation. If this is the correct interpretation, let us say assume. If this is correct interpretation, are you are you agreeing that this is a big mistake? Well, to be honest with you, one thing I one thing I refrain from doing is making conclusive judgments until I have all no, the No, okay, let us assume. No, no, let us say, okay, I'm saying sure, this. Sure. Okay, I'm a, sure. I, I am saying, you say this is my interpretation. If this is my interpretation, yeah. do you agree this will be a mistake? From Muhammad to do, say such a thing. Do I agree that what? Do you agree that this is a very bad scientific mistake to say? Well, I would need you, I would need you to give me scientific articles that prove that it's a mistake. That's what I would need. Well, here we go. We can search in two seconds. It says that who is the one who decides the gender of the baby? And you will find that this is not true. And women sure. have orgasm have nothing to do with this. So you can go right now in and Google I, search yourself and you can read for me. But you're okay. There's, this is based on many different things, such as me actually looking at these articles and coming to a, a conclusion about them. And two, actually, if your interpretation is correct, which you have to prove to me that your interpretation is correct okay. first. So if the art, if if we find, uh, if we find a scientific study. Uh, Saying that the baby gender, how, what, what causes it? What, what, what make it happen to be a boy or or, or uh, male or female? Yeah, that's what that's what I'm saying. But not just one, because like there needs to be consensus. So we right? need to like, find like a, we need to find like a, maybe a hundred one to make it happen for you. No, what I'm saying. Okay, let's be honest, my friend. Uh, Anytime we're talking about science and scientific consensus and the like, mm. we always need to take it with a grain of salt because scientific consensus changes. Mm. And if you've read Thomas Kuhn's book, mm. he talks about Th Thomas paradigms. Who? Thomas who? Thomas Kuhn. Peace upon him. He was a scholar, one of the most cited authors on the philosophy of science. Okay. He talks about basically how science goes through different paradigms. And mm. what that means is okay. that certain things that we perceive to be true today mm. um, may not be perceived as being true in the future, right? So. I take it with a grain of salt that I'm not dis disagreeing with science in any way, but I'm just saying that 
even if all scientists agree on one thing today, it doesn't mean they always agree on something another time. An example of that is... Let me ask you. Let me, let's make it simple. According to the scientists you know, not the one I know, does the women orgasm, the water come out, have anything to do with the baby? I've never had that discussion with any scientist that I know. Okay. So I can't. So you are saying to me, this is my interpretation, but the, 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 the hadith in the front of us saying that, right? No, no. The hadith says, Naza al walid Okay, but what, 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 what does that word mean? Nazah. What does that word mean? That's exactly what we have to figure out. I'm okay, looking at the other hadith. The other hadith says that the the, the, the he will resemble the the, the 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 parents, the bent who comes right. first. Okay, and so resemble, resembling when we say resembling the parents, what does that mean? It means it looks like okay, it looks like the mother. When a child father. look like his mother. Is that a boy or a girl? It could be. It could be either. No so problem. So, according to science, when a child resembles the parents, does it have anything to do with the yellow liquid the women she see in her vagina? According to science, I don't know. I haven't studied that part. Well, this of is absolutely false. You keep saying to me, "I do not know." I do not know. Now, I don't know. Okay. I, I, I'm not afraid to say I don't. Okay. Know. If you're a prophet, says that this is will make the baby a boy, and you go and you search. And you come with the conclusion. But my friend, you have to prove to me that that is what he said. You're using your interpretation here so, again. Okay. So if I, if I, if there is a way to prove it, does that mean Muhammad is a fraud? No, because I need to look at both. I need to look at both of them. And then if he made a mistake, then that is a very serious consideration. But you need to prove to me that he did in fact make that mistake. Okay. I want you to read this hadith. Here we go. Okay. This is the hadith in Arabic. And the hadith in Arabic say clearly that the prophet saying the following and i will read and i will translate and i want you to know what you, you translate to me not not me look at the screen please the youtube one yeah look at the screen do you see it hold on Can you translate please? Okay, can you send me can you send me the, Before the original? I say, can you translate please? Here, start from Ma or Rajul Abiyat. Go ahead, translate. No, no, can you can you send me the I will the... send you the link, no problem. Can you translate what you just read? You did read already. Can you translate? I can read Arabic, but that doesn't mean I'm an Arabic scholar. Why so you I don't translate now. What happened? Just tell us what it says. No, no, because I don't want to make a mistake. My, my friend, Arabic, what mistake is, Arabic in, front is, not of my first is in the head Arabic in the front of you? There's nothing will change. It's in the front of you as it is. Translate to us what it says. I can translate part of it. Translate what it says. That it's a, it's just that it would take you 30 seconds, not even 30, 10 seconds. Come on, translate it. You're telling me to do something in not my native language. My friend, what do you mean in your native language? Are you reading right now in Arabic? And you speak to me in English. So how come suddenly now this is not your native la language? I never said Arabic was my native language. So how, okay, you are, do you know how to read Arabic or you don't? I know how to read Arabic, okay. but that doesn't mean I now, can translate. Are you reading for me so you can answer me, yes or not? Okay, my friend, if you're in Canada or the States, you can probably read French or Spanish. My Does friend, that this is not that. Text? Why you are playing games now? What happened? Suddenly you are in trouble. Does it say there that the, the, the man water is white and the women water is yellow? So if, the, if they meet together, if they meet together and the man, his orgasm came first, the water will be the man the, 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 before the, the woman is going to be a male by the will of Allah. And if the woman came first, the, 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 the child will be a female by the will of Allah. Does it say that or not? <laughs> What is I, I I don't know how to translate what it means is that came mean? first. This is why the other hadith says comes first, comes first. All of them says comes first. But the, the word sabaka is not present here. Sabaka means Allah, which means came first. Allah is higher. Allah came first. 
Okay, okay. okay. See, that's the difference. There's a difference between higher and came first. <laughs> Okay, let us say higher, higher, my friend. No problem, higher. So does it say that, are you saying your prophet when he say things, they are not consistent? In the other hadith, he says, if he comes first. So he, there he says it comes first. Here it says something else. Are you saying, your prophet, is, different, are you saying, your, are you saying your prophet is lying? No, I'm not saying that. Okay, look, is it look, in this friend, hadith? Look. Is it in this hadith? How about you let me speak? How about you let me speak? Is it, is it in this hadith we just read? It says, if the women discharge, discharge, proceed that of the man. Does it say that or I'm lying? There's a different word used here. My friend, the word does it say, the dear prophet says, if the women discharge, proceed of the man. What proceed of the man mean? It means comes first, right? Proceed in English means comes first, yes. Okay. So, if you're a prophet saying that here, are you saying that hadith there, Muhammad is contradicting his own statement and both of them are sahih? And no. He, so, obviously here he means too, that comes first. Otherwise, you are saying that your prophet is a liar. No, the other hadith uses the word sabaka. Here it's the word ala. These are different Doesn't matter. Words. Okay, as long as your prophet says in the other hadith, he used the word sabaka, obviously that will confirm to you that this is what it means. Otherwise, there will be contradiction. If this one mm -hmm. does not mean sabaka, which mean mean first, that means Muhammad is saying different thing. Sabaka and Allah have different meanings in My Arabic friend, language. does it say that the baby will be a child and both of them speak about how the baby resembles the parents? It's about male and female, yes or no? It talks about resembling. Okay, does it say male and female? Does it say male and female in front of you? Stop lying. It says, many you will not ask. You see, you, you are the one who says the word, the word many is, is a sperm. Did you say that? Al-Mar'at al-Mani, yes. Okay, uh, sorry. now did your prophet says the women she have a sperm in this hadith? The word many is used, yes. I okay. don't know exactly so what he So according to science, do women have a sperm? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I don't, I don't know what science classifies <laughs> it. Okay, listen, let us make it uh, 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 simple. If I explain it, you say Christian Prince is fabricating. If I, I'm not if, saying if you're fabricating. Okay, no, no, it's okay. I understand. Muslim trying to defend. What about me and you? We go and read the Islamic interpretation for the verse and whatever it says, both of us, we accept. What do you think? But the Islamic interpretations, there may be multiple interpretations. So which no one we problem. Go? You can choose any interpretation you want. What do you think? I'll, I'll research it myself. Okay, no problem. So are you going to come to me after 10 years to tell me, here we go, this is Ibn Kathir. And this is a very well-known scholar for the Muslim. Don't tell me now he's a Jew. And no. he is explaining to us how and what the Prophet is talking about. Here we go. You see the screen, right? In one sec. Hmm. You know what's funny? I actually scheduled an appointment with you on the 26th and you didn't show up. You didn't show up, no notice, Schedule. no nothing, Schedule. and we were supposed to discuss my video. Schedule. And now you're talking to me and constantly cutting Stop me off. Stop crying. Stop and crying. people think that you're even, smart. And people think you have all the right answers. I don't even remember but who you are. Let's listen. Read. Stop. Stop crying. Does it say? I'm not crying. Okay. Read. See, how okay, do you expect read. to have a discussion? Read. And your followers, I find it hilarious that your followers, your it followers, it is hilarious that you are trying to manipulate and to lie and to lie. And here we go. Here, you're a scholar. I'm sure you will not read. Are you going to read or not? I will read. Okay, read it. Go ahead. Read on my phone. Okay, go ahead. Read, read. Why you don't read? I want to hear you. I'm, I'm reading. I'm pulling it up on my phone. Hmm. I have it for you on the screen. I want you to read Amika Theor. Do you want to give you the link? Here we go. I will give you the link. No problem. Don't waste my time. There's a lot of Muslims who want to leave Islam today. Because of <laughs> you. Yes, because and of you. There's a lot of Christians. There's a lot of Christians who are Islam in the at, at, Everybody is laughing at this Islamic science and medicine and crazy stuff. Here we go. This is your Ibn Kathir. I challenge you to read it. If you are proud about the Quran, about your prophet, about your science, I am, go ahead. I, I am proud. Okay. I don't understand why you're getting emotional. Then be brave. Then be, we're just be having a discussion. You're getting emotional Then here. be brave and start reading, please. Khuliqa min ma'in dafiq. Start from there. Khuliqa min ma'in dafiq. He created. He is created from water gushing forth. Start from there. Go ahead. Khuliqa min ma'in dafiq. 
Mm. Okay. Meaning the sexual fluid that comes out bursting forth from the man and woman, thus the child is produced from both of them by the permission of Allah. Okay. That's what I have here. For continue. The continue. This is the English translation that I'm reading. Yes, yes. Phone. Continue reading, please. Wow. Don't stop. You, the resource you sent me, QuranX.com. My friend, read, read. Proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs. Meaning, continue, please. Okay, let me let me look at the series. I'm not going to go. I gave out. you the link. I gave you the link. You were reading a second ago. What's wrong with you? I was reading the English on my okay, phone. Okay, I, I gave you the link. This is your Islamic website, QuranX.com. This is the one run by the D show from USA. Okay, let's hmm. see. Um, okay. What happened? I give you the link. It's very easy. Open the link. I read. Okay, right here. Um. Okay. Proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs. Meaning. Go ahead. We're seeing from between the back bones and the ribs. Okay, I'm getting there. I don't see it on the link that I'm looking at. My friend, it is in the link in the front of us in the screen, and I gave you the link, so it's the same link. What happened? Jibril, he whipped it off? Come on. It says, here we go. Proceeding. يَخْرُجُ مِنْ بَيْنِ الصُّلْبِ وَالتَّرَائِبِ and this is Ibn Kathir proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs continue meaning Hold on, I'm trying to find the actual What actual this is Ibn Kathir and this is your Muslim translation and this is your Muslim website read it Okay hmm. I'm going to it right now Translation. Why you don't read, my friend? What's wrong? I'm going to right now. Okay, go read. I mean, why it's what, do you need some fuel? Do you want some gas? What do you want? Read it. Okay. Um. What happened? Give me a moment. I'm looking it up. Why are you so impatient? Why are you looking at it? It's in front of you. What do you mean Didn't looking Jesus it up? Teach us patience? What do you mean? What do you mean? No, you are trying your best. It's embarrassing. You got yourself busted. You are no, I didn't. You, 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 just just humiliated. Okay. you just humiliated your God and you're a prophet and your dignity. So either you no, read I, or you I say, I'm a coward and I'm ashamed of it. Go read. Go ahead. You're putting words in my mouth. You're trying to make yourself then read it. Then read party. and read it. Yeah. Subhanallah, and you're a grown man. Okay, read it. Sexual that comes yeah, out. I'm a grown man, but man okay. Woman. Listen, can you? Are, you are the grown man. I'm not. Read it. Really? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Really. The child is produced from both, both of them by the permission to Allah. Uh, due to this, Allah says, "Yakhruju min baini sulbi wa taraib," meaning the backbone of the man and the ribs of the woman, which is referring to her chest. Thank Shall you. Been, thank you. Been thank you. Did he say that this is the backbone of the man? And the ribs of the women. So we are talking about two water. Water of the women and water of the man. So you wasted my time for the last hour lying, yes. going in no, circle, no, no, no. lying to me, saying this is not about the women. This is okay, not about friend, the etc. So listen. So the uh, women me, have a sperm coming from her ribs. Do you agree? Let with me you? ask you a question. Don't this ask is, me a question. Does it say there that the women, she have a sperm coming from her chest? Ibn Kathir is not a prophet. If oh, I want so to Ibn you Kathir Christian now scholars, is a stupid donkey. Can you say that? I, are, you to, to are, you willing, are you willing to say to me? I showed you the hadith. The hadith confirmed that. No, no. This is, I'm telling you, his interpretation. My I'm, friend, I you my friend he is even quoting your prophet. What's wrong with you? And the word, do you know what, do you know what, do you know what the ra'ib mean? The ra'ib, the ribs. No. The ribe is the location of the necklace for the women only. It is the backbone of the man and the ribs of the woman. That's what Ibn Abbas is saying. Thank you very much. So now we have two donkeys. We have Ibn Kathir and Ibn Abbas. Thank you, guys. We have two donkeys. Ibn Abbas is the cousin of the Prophet. Is He is the one who Allah Prophet prayed for him to be the Hibrul Ummah, 
the most scholar of the Ummah by the guidance of Allah. So how Ibn Abbas got it wrong? He's the Mufassir of the Quran, yes. Okay, how he got it okay. wrong? I'm not saying here. I'm not saying. I just gave you my. I gave you. No, I'm I asking you. Said. Okay, as, as long as you don't agree with them, did Ibn Abbas? I'm not saying. I'm wrong? not saying I don't agree with them. I'm okay, not so it says then from a tribe, and tribe is the location of the necklace of the women. What kind of a prophet he say that women they have a sperm and coming from the location of the necklace in their chest? Talks about the, the ma in dafik, as I said, Okay, these are verses, my friend. Look, there's there's some verses in the Quran mm. that we don't fully understand exactly mm. what their what the true interpretation uh -huh. is. So they are not understood. Even the Prophet he explained many hadith. Even we show you all the hadith. Even you're, we show you. You didn't show me. You showed, you didn't show you me decisive. Showed, no, I showed decisive. you. I showed you your prophet. He described exactly, and this is Ibn Kathir quoting the hadith of the prophet, helping him to explain the Muhammad is uh, uh, the prophet uh, uh, of Islam, saying according to Ibn Kathir, saying exactly the same hadith I quote for you. So okay, okay. So here it says. And this is the Quran. I, in the beginning, I said to you, is that the water from the men and the women? You said to me, this is about from the backbone, between the backbone and the ribs, and you claim that this is from the man alone. But here it says, meaning sexual fluid comes, breast forth from the man and the women, and the child will pro pro proceed from both of them by permission of Allah. From between the backbone and the ribs, meaning the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. And this is, is absolutely this, a false news. That's me. Muhammad is a false prophet. And look here. No, says, is this not the science not tell us that both? All both right, hold on. Muhammad he claimed that the one who created the baby is a sexual fluid which is fine and yellow. Is that correct or this is a lie? The one that creates the baby from, from the women. Fine and yellow. The women, the part of the women is the sharing of the women is a sexual fluid, which Muhammad, I ask you about the women, she have orgasm. And you said to me, she did not touch herself, but it is an orgasm. We agree about that, me and you. So is the orgasm, oh, is is the liquid which the women she see in her private part, if she get horny, is that the one will cause the baby to be who he is? Muhammad saying yes. And he described it as yellow and fine in texture. But the women, doesn't, this is not, have nothing to do with the baby. The women, she produced the, the egg and the egg is not in her vagina. And it's not a sexual fluid and it's not yellow okay my friend why don't you show me let's let's first decide what science actually says about this matter decisively before we start debating <laughs> what the Quran says well because i'm not just going to take what, what you say your, what is your education my friend i'm not yet i i alhamdulillah i'm fair i'm a fairly educated person what, i would what, say so what is your education you don't need to know my education so are you saying to teacher. me this I'm asking you because you are trying to see as if you never heard how the baby is made. I have heard, but to okay. get to the point according where according to the education you have, according to the education you have, did anyone taught you that women have a sperm and it's yellow? We we know that women have discharge, for example, and women but, but do emit some but sort it's of not a sperm. And you agree that the hadith says that the prophet says women she have many many yul mara, correct? Yes, that okay. word is present. Yes, and the word many is a sperm. So Muhammad is lying. That's not no. You can't say that because there's some words in the Arabic, and you know this as well. They have multiple meanings. <laughs> you are the one who says to me when I say to you, "This is a sperm." You are the one who says to me, "The word the sperm is many," and it doesn't say that. So now I show it to you. The prophet saying the word "many." Suddenly now it have many meaning. You see the hypocrisy? No, 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 no. What it's recorded. About, it's Jeffrey. recorded. Everything you said to me is recorded. It's documented. You are famous, man. It is friend. documented. What's your name again? All you're what, doing, look, what was look your I'm name? trying what to was speak, you? and what? you're just bombarding me. You're what bombarding was, me. What be a man, let me speak. What was your What was your name? Be a man, let me speak. Hold on. What was your name? Be a man, let me speak. What was your name? Be a man, let me speak. My name is Omar Abdul Fattah, and you can look up my Fattah. Guys, this guy, his name is Omar Abdul Fattah. He entered history by debating Christian Prince. He proved anybody wants to see my TED talk, watch it on YouTube. Muhammad is a false prophet. Now, why you lie to me? How about, we talk, how about we talk about Jesus, alayhi salam? Let's talk about okay, the truth so, here. So do you agree? Okay, okay, listen. Let us go back to zero. You said to me, where well, the prophet did lie. Do you agree that the prophet lied? Yes or no? I don't agree that he lied, no. So how he say this? Where's the lie? Well, does the sperm of the man come from the backbone? Does the sperm of the man come from the backbone? Yes. 
the ayah the says min ma in dafik from a fluid ejected emerging from between the backbone and the ribs. That's yes, what the ayah says. And the backbone of the man. That's what it says, yeah. Okay, so is that correct or it's a lie? About sperm coming from the backbone? Yes. It doesn't say that sperm comes from the backbone. It, it says, says that. that. It says. It says a fluid ejected comes from the backbone. Uh, are you reading in front of your eyes? Are you blind? I'm reading the Arabic. Uh, read, 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 read. What it says is read, read, read. This is your Islamic website, not my website. Does it say, and you, you just read it already. What's wrong with you? A second ago. It says yeah, yeah. the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. Does it say that or I'm making things up? I'm reading it here. It says that here, yes. Okay, so when you Muslims believe that the backbone here where the sperm is coming from, so what testicle for? The testicle is not a storage facility for, for the sperm. Mm -hmm. Is that not what it is? What is the testicle? I don't know. You tell me. Is that like a... Like I, again, land? I'm not a doctor. Is, I am not is a it, doctor. Is it, is this it, is just based off my research. Maybe men, they put it for decoration. Do you want to have a serious discussion or are you, you are telling me you are having a serious discussion? How in the world you believe that this is God speaking, saying that a man have a sperm and women have a sperm? The man is sperm coming from the backbone of the man, which is the last bone in the spine of the man, which is so stupid to say. And then the women she have okay. a sperm, and the sperm of the women is coming from the location of the necklace of her ribs. How that okay, let, me speak, discussion? let me speak about the first one. Let me speak about the first one, mm. right? You want an answer for the first one? Let me speak about the first one. Go ahead. Based upon my research, mm. Matt and Defic from a fluid ejected. I looked up, mm. and you can you can you can Google this yourself. I looked up where, like first of all, what is sperm made out of? Sperm is made out of a fluid. Mm. Where does this fluid come from? Mm. It comes from the seminal vesicle, mm. and the seminal vesicle is in the pelvis, mm. and the pelvis is located at the end of the backbone. That's the pelvis. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> this is your search give me the link uh, which you are calling search we will put on the screen everybody will laugh at you okay here we go okay is that uh, an article written by Muhammadan is that an article written by Muhammadan I'm asking you no it is not okay so you said that you confirm that the article is you are going to give me it says the sperm coming from the backbone, correct? I said it comes from the pelvis, like the fluid comes from the pelvis. This is the, this is the question. Is it the backbone? That thing, the, the name, I don't know how to say it. Actually, it's hard word for me to say. Is that thing you say, is it in the backbone? It's between the backbone and the ribs. Uh, here we go. Is. But the Quran says that it's coming from the backbone of the man. The word it's between, attached. Abdul, listen. The word between is about between the male and the female. It's not about between here and there. You, my friend, you asked me. You asked me to talk about the first part, which is what yes, I'm talking about. Yes, the first part and the second part. The first part. Let's finish the it first says, part. Let's it the says first part the backbone of the man. The backbone of the man. Does it say that? And the word between is between the women and the man. Okay. Hmm. It's not between well, the same body of the human being. It's between two bodies, two human, two creatures. The man sperm coming from the back from the backbone. And the women is sperm coming from the location of the necklace at Taroy. Okay, I'm gonna send you the link about some of us here. Mm. Okay. But this is when this not is where the bulk of the semen comes from, about 70% to be exact. My friend. And you can look up where the seminal vesicle is. Okay, give me the link so we can laugh. Because the link you will give me, I assure you, is going to get your busted. Give it to me. Go ahead. There we go. This is a website about STD checks, but it's All the right. first one that I could find. What the semen is made and where it's coming from. All right. Go down, go down to the section about seminal vesicle. Mm -hmm. Let's hold on. Where is he, where is he man coming from? Oh, okay. uh, they have a banana for you here, and they have you have nice pictures there. And he's talking about taste. Okay, seminal vesicles. Let us search in seminal seminal vesicles. Where are those? Read what it says first. Read what it says. Okay, is it a bone? The seminal vesicles. Is no, it, they're vesicles. Is it is it a bone? Read what it says. Okay, is it a bone? Read, you read, read for me. Is it a bone? Okay, guys, this gonna, is here. okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is where the sim. This this is a, this is the images made by doctors, and I'm going to show you where they are. Do they look for you? They are located in the backbone. Remember, you are the one who said to me, "It this is where the 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 semen coming from." Here we go. This is an image in Google. I have nothing to do with it. Is that in the backbone, my friend? Let me. 
It's in the pelvis. You cannot see my the brain. My friend, is that here? We go. The image in the front of you. Not to not to waste my time. This is the bladder, and it's next to it exactly. The seminal vesicle. Yes. Yes. So is that the backbone? Look at the backbone. It's between the backbone and my the ribs. My friend, it says it from the backbone. The, the sperm of the man came in from the backbone. Next, not not, not near to it. This the human body. All of its few few inches. What is left? What do you mean next to it? I mean everything we have is in either in stomach, our belly, our our chest. Human being is not a dinosaur. So if if you say to me it's coming from the from from the backbone, it's mean the backbone, and this is the backbone. The backbones are very small, and this is the last one, which is considered the backbone, which Muhammad is speaking about. Here we go. Let us show it to everybody so everybody can laugh. Here we go. This is the backbone Muhammad is speaking of. Do you see it? Seminal vessel. Yeah, I don't. I don't see the issue here. Like it's up. It's towards the, the back. Issue is the, the prophet said Just, that this is the backbone, and this is where the sperm is coming from. Look, Christian Prince. It does not say. I don't even want to call you that. It doesn't even say in the backbone. It says between the sulbi Yes. Okay. The hold on. Let us read again. You see, maybe one of us is a slow. Either you or me. Maybe me. I don't know. I don't, don't want to insult you. Here we go. Let us go back and read it slowly, my friend. Here we go. It doesn't say right. does it say the backbone of the man from the backbone of the man does it say that that's Ibn Abbas that's what the tafsir says yes okay so why the Muslims agree that this is what it's meant do you think the Arabic is funny and the scholars are not the scholars why Ibn Abbas the cousin of your prophet I'm not saying the scholars are not okay. scholars I'm the, not saying the, the cousin of your prophet do he speak perfect Arabic yes okay do we have a perfect understanding of the Quran do we have a perfect understanding of the no, Quran? No, Ibn Abbas specifically. He may he may have a good understanding, maybe not a Okay, let me I ask you now. If you bring about Ibn Abbas and he sit in my place, and Ibn Abbas is saying to you, This is the backbone of the man, are you going to say to him you have a wrong understanding? No, I'm not. Okay, so Ibn Abbas must be now the right. So you are the one who caught for me, Ibn Abbas, and this is Ibn Kathir, and both of them agree that this is the backbone of the man, and the backbone sure, back and the bone, and the bone of the man, man proceed. And give no sperm it's a false so Muhammad is a liar secondly the women I still don't agree with that interpretation I don't know where you're getting that from you are the Don't one who caught for me Ibn Abbas and you just told me Ibn Abbas you will not tell him that you are wrong did you say that Meaning the backbone or loins of the man yes that's what okay says. so Ibn Abbas is not wrong either that's mean you are wrong so Ibn Abbas is right it's the backbone of the man so it does not say between the backbone of the man and the ribs of the man which you're trying to make it look like by lying it says the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women now this is number one is a lie number two do women have sperm i didn't lie that was my that was my interpretation I'm okay but you get yourself knowledge. busted because at the end of the day the correct one and you agree is ibn abbas not you Okay, but that still doesn't prove make it make that is no, this is prove prove, right. that's it. We got it now. And you are the one who gave me the image, you gave me the article, and you helped me. You gave me a hand to prove Muhammad and to get him busted. Now, the second that one, still doesn't prove the, you right. I don't second, know how you the second one, right. yes, we showed you the image where is the location. It's not the it's not the backbone, period. It's not Look even a bone, it's not even close Look to the bones. The it's in the middle of the body of the human being. How that can be in the bone? Where is now, the listen, backbone? Where is the back? Where's the back? Listen, the, we showed it to you on the screen. The backbone is far away from it. The backbone Where is, is the a small, end of the back. The backbone is a small, tiny bone. Stop lying. And now, does it say that the I'm women? Not. Does it say that the fluid, the sexual fluid, coming from the ribs of the women? Yes or no? The sexual fluid coming from the ribs of the woman. Yeah. Where are you getting that from? It's in the front of you. In which which link? You've sent me a lot of links. Aren't you the one who said to me, Ibn Abbas said that? The backbone of the ribs and the ribs of the woman. Yes. Okay. So what? what so why you are saying to me why it says that? So Ibn Abbas, your best scholar, and you are the one who quoted him for me. I'm quoting you for Ibn Kathir. You are quoting Ibn Abbas. That's wonderful. Both of them, they agree that sperm of women is coming from the ribs of the women, which is the tarab, which is the location of the necklace. Now, I want to ask you, do you really believe that from the location of the necklace, women, she have a sperm coming there? The back one of the man and the ribs of the woman, which is referring to her chest. Hmm. It says her chest. Hmm. This is the link that you sent me. It's no problem, chest. no problem. So do you believe that it's coming? It says ribs, ribs, it's ribs, and not only ribs. The ribs here is the location of the necklace. I can show you a reference from Islam, from Islamic books that the word tarab means specifically the location where the two bones in the top 
of the ribs meet together. This is what Which the is the chest. Yes, it's the chest. Which is not in the top side of the chest, the last bone of the chest before it touched the neck. This is where the rib is. I can show you the proof right now, if you want. Man and the ribs are the one. Mm. I don't understand why we're talking. We're arguing about these these little things when this is not be little things. You asked me did Muhammad lie. I said to you, yes. You, you said show me the proof, and this is why we came to here. Prove to me that Jesus is God. You say here we go. If Jesus is God, because He sent me to save you from the cult of Muhammad. Here we go. I got you busted. I got that's your prophet not busted. That's not, that's so a you, statement. so now you agree that Muhammad is a scam? Do you? No, I don't agree and with that. Answer, do you believe that women have a sperm and their sperm is coming from the upper side of their chest? Yes or no? I have to look before I can make conclusive So why you call me if you are a person who have to look? You call a Christian prince to challenge a Christian prince to debate a Christian prince, but you have to look. Did you look around you before you call me? Of course I did. You, you were look, saying, did, did, did you look, did you look under your knees right, right now? Right. Are you wet? What? Are you sweating wet? No, I'm not. So I'm why you are saying I have to look? Give me the answer. You are the Muslim who says supposedly he want to debate me. I am. I am. His name is my Farouk. Whatever. Blah 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 blah. So why now you need to look? Look. I go. So what we are doing in the last hour? Aren't you looking? I have a challenge for you, my friend. How about this? Friend, How about this? I don't I have a challenge me. I don't challenge me. Don't challenge me. I'm here. You can prove to me. You can prove to me that the Quran is the word. You can prove to me that the Quran is false. If this, if you doubt that the Quran is the word of God, <laughs> then produce a chapter like it. Are you sure? topic, like you call upon four witnesses. Let's see what okay, happens. Okay, so you are trying to change the topic, and now you give up. Okay, let me you know, let me prove to you. Let me prove to you that the Quran is not the book of God, and I'll get you busted in two seconds. Are you ready? Prove to me. I, no, I'm telling you, make something like it. If you think that Muhammad okay. alayhi salam wrote it, hold on, write it where I'm like you speak okay, Arabic. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you saying nobody can make Quran like the Quran of Muhammad? Yes, absolutely, I'm saying that. So how you explain to me this hadith that Allah He took the Quran from Omar? Which hadith? Where is it? Which hadith? It says in the front of you. Okay, I'm going to YouTube. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. So what? Okay. How Allah copied uh, the Quran of Omar? Omar, he says something. Allah, he take it, he make a Quran. Mother of the Lord's covers so the divine verses of Al-Hijab were good. I came to know that the Prophet uh, has entered upon him and said, you should either stop or else Allah will give his apostles better wives than you. When I came to one of his wives, she said to me, Omar, is Allah's apostle of heaven? Love his wives. Is Allah's apostle, alayhi salam, haven't what he could advise his wives with that you try to advise him thereupon Allah revealed that maybe if you divorce, you always will. So, just because he took, he listened to Omar, doesn't mean that Omar wrote it. Hold on. It says the verses came as I said. Where does it say that? Here we go. As I said. Yeah. What's the Arabic word? <laughs> <laughs> what the Arabic for it? Does it say as I said, yes or no? Maybe thereupon Allah revealed. I see the bottom of it. It says thereupon Allah revealed. It may be if he divorced all, if he divorced you all, his Lord will give him instead of you wives better than you Muslims who submit to Allah. That's where I'm reading. Okay, so who is the God of Islam? Is that Omar or Allah? It's how the Allah, God, how God. Allah is copying Omar statement, and you just said to me, make Quran like Quran, like the Quran. Make Quran, I challenge you. What Quran is a stupid book? I'm telling you, okay, if, if you think that you can easily write it, do my it. friend, if, I, right if, if, I right make, I, if I make for you a verse now, you will say to me, uh -huh, this is funny, you will laugh, correct? We make me a surah, make me a surah. Like I can make for you tons of surahs. Here make we go. me a surah right now. What, what's your name? What's your name? Is, and let's see. What, what is your name? What is your name? Omar Abdul Fattah. Omar Abdul Fattah. Abdul Fattah, Yakul Tufah, Wabiyadi Muftah, Wakala Bahumbah, Wata Jibril, Wata Nabil Asil, Wakala Lena. 
لقل قال قيل واتانا بقوم مساطيل فقلنا له هذا حجاره من من جزيل من ونرميها على المساطيل I mean this is stupid what is the that's hilarious that is that's I know hilarious. this is hilarious so that the Quran is a hilarious book and this is what we are showing you that Muhammad in the Quran which you are saying it's amazing saying that the sperm of the women coming from the backbone of the man and you are saying to me can you make stupid thing like this I'm telling you to make a chapter like the Quran. First chapter, three verses. But we showed make you this is a stupid. Like... This is stupid. What's what chapter of the Quran? And I just showed you that Omar is the one who is making Quran, and Muhammad he take what Omar says to him and he recite it and he make it Quran. Omar let me did ask, not make the Quran. Let me ask you. No, no. It says the same as I said. Actually, there's a different hadith says that there's more than ten things Allah he took from Omar. Let me ask you. Have you ever heard of the Quran saying that Allah said, not Muhammad supposedly? That Allah is the best of the creators. Yes. Okay. Who is the one who said that verse? Allahu Khairun. Yeah, he's he's the one who's he's the best of creators. Who is the one who said that verse? Allah is. What if I show you it's not true? Everything that is in the Quran is from Allah. My friend, what if I show you from your Islamic books that the one who said that his name is Abdullah ibn Sarah? So you're telling me that there's a statement of a human being that made it into the Quran without Wahi. Exactly, and this is why this is this is the brother of of uh, of uh, uh, the Caliphate Uthman ibn Affan. He was the inscribe of your Prophet, and he was listening to Muhammad. And Muhammad he said that we made the baby in the following way. And by the way, this is a great mistake again, where Muhammad he said that the sperm transform into a congealed dead blood. <laughs> Okay, prove to me it's wrong. Give me a, give me a source. Hold on, hold on, before we change. And then Abdullah ibn Sarah, he says, so please be Allah, the best of the creators. Muhammad, he said to him, write it there as it is. But the guy, he said to him, but it came to me. He said to, he, he said to him, and this is how it, Muhammad said to him, and this is how it came to me too. So the guy, so Abdullah no ibn What's Sarah, with that? okay, what do you mean it's wrong with that? Abdullah ibn Sarah, immediately he left Islam. He said, if Muhammad is a prophet, then why he is taking what I said? I'm making it Quran, and this is in your books, and this is your he education, said, and this is in your tafsir, and this is in your documented by you. And the guy he left Islam, and he decided to be not a Muslim because Muhammad is a fraud, because he is the one okay, who said that. Prove it to and, me. Show okay. me. Show me this hadith. Prove it to me. Show me what? Show me this hadith that you're referring to. All right, here we go. Story. All right. And prove to me the guy left Islam. All right. So if I show you what you will do. I want to. I want to. I want to look at. It. I'm just going to accept your words for it because you've already made some false interpretations. So I I'm never gonna... said something. I did not prove it. Yeah, you did. You're talking Which about. One? You're talking about gender. You're talking about how <laughs> the sperm influences the gender. I, pro I prove it. I prove it. <laughs> no, you didn't. I did. That was your interpretation. It's recorded. Everybody will listen and will laugh. Sure. Sure. Okay. We'll see. So we will see if this is true or not. All right. Let us see how we can find you the reference. about this issue and you talk like like the book that you read is free of is free of errors don't change free the of topic don't, don't of... play potato tomato game you are the I'm hero not, not playing, and you call playing, me and you call me to get me busted everybody is laughing at you and your prophet you could not answer yeah anything. your followers who are your followers let the us, video that you made the video that you made about me had less than a thousand views my video has 136,000 views i don't, I don't even talking. know who you are you're no one talking keep talking you're no one talking Okay. I'm going to put my name in the comments just so people can read. All right. But you're because yeah, you should be proud about yourself now. I am proud of myself. Yeah. There we go. <coughs> I find it hilarious that these people. Hold on. Hold on. Follow you and as yes. you. Okay. Listen. If you follow Jesus, then you would do what he said. Exactly. And, worship and, the Jesus, one and, Jesus said, and Jesus said to the hypocrite, to the liar, you are the same as your father, the devil. Prove to me Jesus said that. <laughs> Prove to me you said that. <laughs> You're laughing. Prove to me you said yeah, that. I'm laughing. I'm laughing at what you just saying. Okay, let us read here. Let us see. Here we go, and we will find, and I will show you, and you'll read in Arabic, and I change you to translate, and everybody will laugh, 
at you at what at, at what you will say to us your translation not my translation sure all right uh <clears throat> All right. Let us go here. My screen frozen, but give me a second. Have you ever heard of this verse? Which one? Chapter 6, verse number 93. Chapter 6, verse number? 93. Verse 28, right? 23. Sorry, 20. uh, sorry, 93. Chapter 6, verse number 93. What this verse is about, do you know? Yes. Okay, what is it? Bin shaitan al rajim وَمَنْ أَظْلَمُ مِنْ مَسْتَرَعَنَ اللَّهِ كَذْبًا أَوْ قَالَ أُحْيَا إِلَيَّ وَلَمْ أُحْيَا إِلَيْهِ شَيْءٍ وَمَنْ قَالَ سَأُنْزِلُ مِثْلَ مَا أَنْزَلَ اللَّهِ وَلَوْ تَرَى إِلَى الظَّالِمُونَ فِي غَمَرَاتِ الْمَوْتِ you don't even know how to read it. Let me read it for you. You read, do you want to do you, do you want me to read it for you better than you're reading, you idiot? Is that is that how you sing the Quran? Listen how you sing the Quran. ومن أزلم من أفتى على الله كذبا أو قال أوحي إلي وما أوحي إليه شيء ومن قال سأنزل ما أنزل الله. Are you done? Are you done playing around? No answer. Does it say? Does it say? Does it say that there's a guy? He said that it is. He is inventing the Quran and what he have is what is given to me. Does it say that? Yes. Okay. Who is this guy who said that? And Muhammad is talking about. I don't know. You don't know. So Christian prince, no. Told me this hadith. So, I don't Christian, know. so Christian prince, he prince, he know, and you do not know. Well, it seems like you spend a lot of time just trying to attack Muslims and Islam. Ah, a lot of time. That's amazing. So you did not spend a lot of time reading your religion. I did, but you're asking me. So to how talk come about you do not know? Why, why you are? Why you? Why you do not know? Let me ask you a question. Don't ask you know me a question. Why you do not know? And it's you meaning? are you are saying you do not know. Who is the yeah, one? Yeah, I know what Allah. I know the knowledge that okay. Allah has given so me. I'm humble is, enough to admit. All right. That. Who is the one? What's your question? <laughs> Relax. Camera, you're in time. Drink, sleep. Breathe and now let us. You know what? You are just a kid. You're not worth it. Here we go. This is Al Qurtu. I'm, I'm not going to waste my time. We'll see. We'll see. What keep he talking, said. Keep okay. Read with me. Read with me. Does it say yes. that this is about Abdullah ibn Sarah? Wartadda an al Islam, and this is Tafsir Al Qurtubi, and this is the official government of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Let me show you the website. Okay. 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 Does it say Quran K S U Education S A? Does it say that? This is the screen that you have on the YouTube. Okay, yes. let me see. It. Mm. I'm reloading the page. Do you see the website? Do you confirm that this website is the government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia? It looks like it's a government website. Okay, looks like it. Looks like it. Okay. Now, this is Tafsir al Qurtubi. It says here, Surah Al An'am, Ayah 93, verse number 93. Correct? 
And now let us see what it says here. If we go down, we will find it is speaking about a person who left Islam because he discovered that Muhammad is a fraud. Read carefully with me. I want you to read and you translate for us because your Arabic is better than me. You can sing it too. Sing it. Sing this one for me. Sing it. Go ahead. Sing it, sing it, sing this one for us, sing it, sing it, about the guy who said Muhammad is a fraud and he is the, ins the inscribe of the prophet, he was writing Quran for him and Muhammad, he took from him whatever he say and he put it in the Quran, read it, go ahead. He took from him whatever he says? Let us say, yeah, he took, he, the guy he says, for Muhammad, he took it, he put it in the Quran. Okay, that's one instance. Let's one, go back to the verse that you thank said. Thank you, is, thank you, guys. This is one instant. He just agreed that but there's it's one. Not a lie. Hold, hold, it's hold on, hold on, hold on. You just said that. He just agreed that there's one instant where the prophet was stealing from a guy. His name is Abdullah ibn Salah, and he is the brother of the Caliphate of the Islam of Uthman. This That's is the brother. That's not what the hadith says. Be honest. Be honest. That's not what the hadith says. Read it. You the hadith says. One. Okay, read it. Read it. The hadith says. Read it. And you said it. I'm quoting you. I'm quoting you. Read you it. Said, read it. I'm quoting you. Listen read, to me. Read you it. said that this is also how it was revealed to me. Hmm. How was that stealing? What? What? You what? said that. Okay, one. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hmm. Read, read carefully. It says. Uh, it says here that. Uh, the, 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 it says here. And Abdullah ibn Sarah, Abi Sarah, الذي كان يكتب الوحيد رسول الله. It says that Abdullah ibn Sarah is a person who yes. was writing the, the Quran for Allah, Prophet. The revelation, right? yes. Okay, yes. now, then he continues, says, and then he became an upper state, and he followed yes. the mushrikeen. Does it say that? Yes. Okay. Yes. And the reason for that, listen carefully, and وَسَبَبُ ذَلِكَ فِيمَا ذُكِرْ ذَكَرَ مُفَسِّرُونَ أَنَّهُ لَمَّا نَزِلَتْ الْآيَةِ And the reason for that, when the, uh, the, the ayah came, which is saying, the ch in the chapter of Al-Mu'minun, وَلَقَدْ خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ مِنْ سُلَالَةٍ مِنْ طِينٍ when, when the Prophet, he said, and we created the human being from uh, uh, like a kind of, uh, of mud. And دَعَاهُ نَبِيُّ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ فَأَمْلَاهَا عَلَيْهِ The Prophet of Allah, he asked him to come and write it, and he recited for him, so he would write it down. فَلَمَّا انْتَهَى مِنْ قَوْلِهِ And when the Prophet finished reading it or reciting it, so, and then he says, ثُمَّ أَنْشَأْنَاهُ خَلْقًا آخَرًا and then the Prophet, he says, and we created him an additional creation or a new creation. So uh, uh, Abdullah, he was like, wow, that's amazing how the human being is created. This is new for me. And then he said, he said, Abdullah, he said, Who said that? Abdullah ibn Sarah. And then Muhammad said to him, فَقَالَ رَسُولَ اللَّهِ عَلَيْهِ وسلم, وَهَكَذَا أُنْزِلَتْ عَلَيْهِ فَشَكَّ عَبْدُ اللَّهُ حِينَ إِذٍ وَقَالْ لَإِنْ كَانَ مُحَمَّدًا صَادِقًا لَقَدْ أُوحِيَ إِلَيَّ كَمَا أُوحِيَ إِلَيْهِ Let us translate. And then, when uh, Abdullah ibn Sarah, he says, Blessed be Allah, the best of the creators, the Prophet, he said to him, Oh, this is how it came to me too, which means write it down. And then the guy, he became suspicious about Muhammad being a false prophet. And then he said to himself, in كَانَ Muhammad صَادِقًا If Muhammad was a truthful, well, I am a prophet too. Because I, I was inspired as he was inspired. And if he's a liar, he said, as I said. <laughs> and then it says, فَرْتَدَّ عَنِ الْإِسْلَامَ وَلَحِقَ بِالْمُشْرِمِينَ And then he became an apostate, which means he confirmed that Muhammad is a liar. Is that true or not, my friend? If you're reading it, and what source, where does that come from? What's wrong with you? What book? What book? I showed I you the website. Like... I showed you the name of the book. I showed you the number of the verse. And now you are asking me, are you in trouble? No, no, I'm asking I you. I said you those information already for you. I said Al-Qurtubi. What's wrong with you? Okay, okay. Al-Qurtubi. Yeah, yeah. Keep going. Keep reading, please. That's it. The guy, he left Islam. And this is what he okay. said. And if you want to continue, no problem. Here we go. Does the hadith not okay, say? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And this is reported by Al-Kalbi and Ibn Abbas. Ibn Abbas, your, your, your favorite scholar, is the one who reported that. Okay, okay. Okay. So the, it seems here that the guy said he was a prophet, did he not? No, he's saying if Muhammad is a prophet and he received Quran, will I receive Quran too? Because I am the one who said that first. Okay, so that's where the problem is. It's not the problem that Muhammad confirmed it. The problem is that the guy said he was a prophet. The problem, he said, the Quran and Muhammad take the Quran from him and put it in his book. This is the problem. Are you playing no. slow now? Are you playing dumb? 
No, no. The hadith says, "Kadalika ahi." Like in the meaning. My friend, who is the one? Who is the one? Who is the one who said first, "Tabarak Allah wa Ahsanul Khaliqin"? Who is the one who said that sentence first? Muhammad. It came out of him first. Yes, he said it first. From him, who? Give me the name. Abdullah. Okay. Are you the one who says to me, "Make Quran like a Quran"? Yes. Okay. I said, "Produce a chapter like." Why Allah? Why Allah taking the Quran from the this guy, which obviously is a bad guy because he left Islam, brother. No, he didn't take the Quran from him. Well, the Quran was he revealed. Is the one who said, but he is the one who said the sentence. Aren't you amazed? He's the one who said it first. Okay. Yeah. If, if I asked you now, if I say "Fatabarak Allahu Ahsanul Khaliqin," you ask me to make Quran like the Quran. If I say to you "Fatabarak Allahu Ahsanul Khaliqin," are you going to say this is amazing? No, you because you said it afterwards. Ah, thank you very much. So the one yes. who said it afterwards is not making an amazing job. You got yourself busted. Go I mean, I and take a you are the one who said that the one who say it afterward is a liar. So okay, I, let's go back. No, I, no, I no, no, no. You, you know, you, you, the, 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 it's, 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 it's gone. It's, you, you, you just, you, no, 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 no. You put I'm going to answer that. You Let just put you. a nail. You. you just put a nail in the coffin of your religion. You say no, 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 if no, no. I say that it is not valid because you said it afterward. But Muhammad but is the answer? one. Are you going to give me a chance to answer? But you? Are you gonna gonna Muhammad is the one who said that afterward. Are you going to give me a chance to talk or are you going to be talking over me? We're, we're, we're all done. We're, talking about what? we're not done. No, no, no. <laughs> the Quran doesn't say produce an ayah like it. It says produce a chapter like it. Uh -huh. And the fact that it was also revealed uh -huh. to Sayyidina Muhammad uh -huh. alayhi salam. So I don't know. Okay, hold on, like. hold on, hold on, hold on. So are you saying that the Quran saying that we can produce verses like it, but we cannot produce chapter? I'm telling you the challenge to humanity is to produce a chapter like it. <laughs> That is the chapter. <laughs> That's the challenge. Take care, Abdul. Take care. We smoke you and we love you boneless. Boneless. Everybody download this video, post it everywhere. By the way, already it's saved, so they cannot even take it down. Do you see how we get them busted? Produce a chapter. What about produce the whole book? And if I produce a book like it, you will say it's not good anyway. I mean, look who's talking. If I make a book right now, the Quran is a stupid book. Even the Arab in the time of Muhammad, they said to him, this is the fairy tale. If we like, if we want, we can produce the like it. Here we go. The Quran says that the Muslim, they say the Arab, they were amazed, brother. How amazing the Quran. Are you sure? Is that why Muhammad took him all those years to kill them, so to 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 to, 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 to force them to convert? This is the Quran, and this is the Arab saying to Muhammad, huh, "We heard thin, those things before. If we like, if we want, we could like the same. But this is stupid. This is nothing but fairy tales, stupid stories." So the Arab, they were not amazed of the Quran as they claim. The Quran is a stupid book will not make me amazed today so look what they do they try to sing it for you so like uh, it's like uh, listening to an Indian uh, like the, 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 the native American Indian so and they put it for you like in the in the background of etc and somebody speaking for the spirit and then there is an eagle come in the sky and all this fiction stupid things and this is what they do they try to avoid us thinking and using our brain about the stupidity in this book by bringing you somebody have a nice voice, he sing the Quran for you. You say like, wow, this is good, nice. But this voice, if he sing a, a song about poopoo, is going to look nice. It doesn't matter what he's saying. This is why people who have nice voice, they make a lot of money. It doesn't matter what they say. There's billionaires right now, millionaires, who they have a lot of money and they sing, but they sing the B, the B word, the F word. This is their song. Still, they make a lot of money. They are saying the B word, the F word, the ish word. Yet they are making millions every day. Because they have nice voices. The question is, can you make a smart book like the book of Allah? And look at the translation, the deception. Here it says in Arabic, Allah the best of deceivers in the translation they say Allah the best of the planners <laughs> Mr. Muhammad Farooq 
I challenge you to download this video and post it in your channel because the Muslims will be proud about you. I challenge you. Every Muslim will be proud about you. As long as this was a good debate for you and you are going to challenge me and, and he is the one who called me and he is the one who decide what we are talking about. And he is the one who forced me to go there. And the funny he said, you failed. You failed to prove to me anything. When I am the only one who is showing proof and reference. Not a single thing I said without showing you from your books. And I made you read it. And yet you eat it. You say to me, you failed. Hmm? Did we have a did we have a good time guys? Did we have a good time? Do you see how easy to destroy the stupid cult? This is a stupid cult. This cult is immature cult. Muhammad is immature. His God is immature. He doesn't exist, you know, to say he's immature. But Muhammad obviously is an immature man. And there is many proof that Muhammad is an immature man. Muhammad obviously is immature man. And we prove it all over. Ordering people drinking camel urine is stupid. Accusing a man that his brother's stomach is lying is stupid. Just because the medicine of Muhammad did not work. Claiming that Allah told the truth and your prophet Billy is lying. Claiming that if you eat seven ajwa, that will stop the poison and you will not die and nobody can control you by magic. And the funny Muhammad himself was controlled by magic and he was or he died by poison, which means both happened to him. And the guy he agreed in his statement, not mine, that obviously Allah, he decreed the death of Muhammad in such a way, which means Allah is the one who sent the Jewish women to kill Muhammad because he was lying about the Quran. This is what he said. And we have tons of hadith proving to us that Muhammad is immature. Muhammad marrying a child, she is at the age of six. That is an immature man. Isn't it clear? Muhammad seducing men to marry children. Trying to make a man hate his wife, which is mature woman, and ask him why you don't marry a child so she can amuse you. You can play with her. Huh? Why you don't marry a young girl? Is that a mature prophet? He gives such an advice. As we see in the front of us, and this is Sahih Hadith, a man he is married to a mature woman. The Prophet asked him, did you marry? Are you married? He said, yes. He said again, a virgin or a previously married? Is that a mature question? Imagine you met a friend today in the year 2019, and then somebody asked you, did you marry? Say yes. You say to her, you say to you, is her, is her private part used or not used? Hello? Now, this is a Muslim who's trying to call me. Anyway. Imagine he asks you, is her private part used or not used? And you say to him, no, it was previously used. This is what it means. This is what the question means. Does it say version or not version, guys? Does it say version or not version? What version mean? Did she have sex before you? Or she did not have sex before you? And by the way, the translation here is not accurate only because the version here is about a child, a young child. And we will see that in the in the in the coming text. Is that a mature question from a mature prophet? Is that a decent even question? 
I go to the church today at Sunday morning. I go and ask somebody in the church, Did you marry? He said, Yes. I say, Is her, <coughs> <coughs> is it, uh, <coughs> or it's uh, still there's a wax there? What is that? What is that? What kind of a mature prophet? What kind of a mature religion we have? And then he not only stopped there, he started planting his evil plan. He said to him, after he said to him, no, previously married, whereupon he said, the prophet, why? Why? Why, why, why? 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 Why don't you marry a young girl? So she could sport with you, sport with her, and she could sport with you. This is Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil advising a man who is married to a mature woman, don't marry a mature woman, marry a mature girl so she can play with you. She will bring her Barbie and you play with her. Is that a medicine for the family? Is that will create a healthy family to have a child wife and the purpose to sport with her? What sport we are talking about exactly, Prophet of Allah? What the sport a man at the age of 54 in his age, he was doing with the six years old Aisha? Football? My friend, Islam is a cult and a stupid cult. And I challenge all the Muslims who listen to this debate to download my video and post it in their channel. If you are proud really about what you heard. And why we have only 947 like? Like, hello? Hello? Why? Look, let me ask you like Muhammad. Maybe, maybe that will make you give us a like. Why? Why don't you marry a young girl? Why? Let us see. Dislike, like. 948 still there. It's not working. Why? Why don't you marry a young girl? Uh, we have one like more. Why? It looked like I have to whip the floor to, to make people give us a like. What's happening here? <laughs> don't worry. Anyway, we are going to take it down. So, guys, it is hilarious to be a Muslim. But it is disgusting to be Muhammad. A liar, a thief, a criminal, and yet he add next to his name, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allah Himself a pray on Muhammad. He is the center of the universe. Even the Quran says, Allahu wa malaikatahu yusalluna al Nabi. Allah and the angels they are praying on the Prophet. Who are you? Who are you? And he ordered the Muslims. Not only the angels have to pray on, on Muhammad, Allah himself. And look, this is a Muslim translation. While he's standing in a prayer chamber, the angels called him, what, what angel? This is different. This is the wrong one. Hold on. It's my mistake. Here we go. We click the wrong one. Allah and his angels are praying, not a blessing, on the Prophet. And by the way, what do you mean uh, uh, blessing? Well, what does that mean? Is If the Prophet is a blessed, is a blessed. That's it. What blessing? Blessing non-stop? He's dead. One more thing. Just to show you the immature Prophet. Muhammad, he have a fight with two of his wives you know he have many he's a collector and then muhammad he made a verse to support himself against his two wives who they are really big they are five foot and they are scary you know women they are scary brother they have long nails and muhammad now is scared and look what he said to them if you two turn in repentance to him and your hearts indeed so inclined, which means you became a kuffar. 
But if you back each other against him, against who, Muhammad? Here we go. Who is going to support Muhammad? Look at this. Truly, truly Allah is his protector. And Jibreel, and verily every righteous Muslim among the Muslims, and furthermore all the angels, like what? All of this against two women? Two women needed this Muhammad, he needed the support from Allah. Allah is not enough. Allah is not enough. A mature prophet. And not only Jibreel. Jibreel, we, 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 we. Jibreel is coming. So all of this to fight two females, they are five foot tall. Allah is his protector. Okay, who else? Is that enough? No. No, no, no. Jibreel too, brother. Jibreel is coming. Jibreel, are you there? Are you ready, brother? Yes, I am with you, Prophet Muhammad. If you attack, I will attack with you right now. The women, tell me, just, just point your finger. Where is those two short women? Because they are so short, I cannot see them. Where are they, brother? And not only that, and every righteous Abdul in the world. All of this to fight Al-Qaeda and ISIS and 1.4 billion Muslims now, they are going to stand behind the Prophet against two women. They are five foot tall. And who else? Is that enough? No, the army is growing. And furthermore, the angels, all the angels. Do you think they win? Brother is a Once the Prophet upon him, beat upon him. He had a fight with his wife. And because he had a fight with his wife, Allah decided to send the army. And Allah himself was in the leader of the army. And he decided to protect the Prophet. The women, the Prophet, they have their tooth in their hand. Imagine, brother. There are two women, they are carrying their tooth. And women's tooth is very harmful, very dangerous. They wore high heels. Even at that time, they were high heels. A brother and sister. To the Prophet, he asked for the help of Allah. And the help came from Allah. And he told him, Allah and Jibreel and every believer. And furthermore, all the angels are going to stand with you, Prophet. Well, I... It looked like Muhammad is going to fight USA, not like two women. Muhammad did not ask for this help when he fought the Roman. So why he is asking for this help to fight two women? Because he is a fraud. Now, this video will disappear from my channel immediately, and we will load it again in different uh, channel, so you can download it. Just give me two hours or three hours from now. Search for exactly the same title. And you can add, uh, like in the name, Debate with Muhammad Farooq. Let us make this guy famous. Help him. He called me, by the way, because he want to show the Muslims he debated Christian Prince. And for sure, Christian Prince is destroyed. I told you, I bought a lot of gloom. I glue myself every day. Oh, boy. I am number one buyer for glue from Amazon.com. So I want to say thank you for being here. I might come at night today, if I can, again, if I can, so we can have more people here from Indonesia and from the east of Asia. If not, then maybe tomorrow. I want to say thank you for your support and your help. And again, we love the Muslims. We don't hate them. But we, we hate lies. And we fight lies. And those poor Muslims, like this guy, he's a poor guy. Trust me, he's a poor guy. I feel sorry for him. What he can do, he's born in this cult. He's defending because he thinks it's an ID for him. It's an identity. But Islam is an identity for no one, only for Muhammad. He used it to control your mind. And now Muhammad dead in the grave. The man who says any woman she gave herself to the prophet so he can do boom, boom with her is dead. And still you are his slave. Fight the slavery, my friend. Only Christ, he can free you. Only the Messiah can bring you freedom. And by him, we are always victorious, not by a Christian prince. Christian prince is no one. No one. My name is nobody. I am victorious by my Lord. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you all. And until we see you soon again, don't forget to subscribe and join us in Minds and other website where we have many pages so you can always be updated. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And we'll see you soon.